It's because it ferments. Oh. Oh. I was just well, thinking that's his way of referring to a child, but all right. Well, folks, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for mature audience only for a reason uh hey it's saturday night welcome aboard to murder hobo inc this is the campaign edition as you can clearly tell if you've seen this show before if you haven't seen this show and that was your first introduction to it welcome uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff uh it's in there somewhere tinyurl.com rpg swag if you want to chat with us on discord tinyurl.com m hobo inc discord um what's the other thing that we do oh that's merch right. merch no. yeah we did the merch uh if, if you want a seat on the show or the talk show uh hit us up at m hobo inc at twitter or m hobo inc at gmail kind of a theme going on uh as we've already pointed out this is campaign night these guys are seventh level uh tunneling through the dungeon of battle keep in search of the orb of catching uh part one of a three-part artifact uh let's go ahead and introduce you to everybody we'll start off uh with kyle kyle who are you who are you playing i'm kyle i'm the uh second most awesome dm here um right will be in the first huh will be in the first yeah. Hey, hey, look, everybody. I know humor, too. <laughs> hey, Frank. Uh, and I will be playing Dewey Dacamel, the Lab Barbarian. Um, uh, let's kill everybody. Riveting. Well, 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 no, no. Now aren't you the lying, thieving barbarian? The lying, thieving barbarian. What? Oh, if you guys only knew. Next up, Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name's Chris. I am playing <coughs> Manise, the Aarakocca Cleric. I've uh, not died within the first 10 minutes in like the last four or five games. Yeah. So, you know, that probably will change tonight. I guess. Progress. Your time Progress. is coming. Progress. Uh, are you doing a show tomorrow? Not sure. Okay. <laughs> I should be, but not sure. Uh, Chris also has his own Twitch channel uh, for mini painting. If you want to take a look at that, yes, Chris, that's what's CG, the channel? CG mini painting on Twitch and all the things. There you go. Carol, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Carol. I'm also a mini painter, uh, but I don't have my own stream because there are already 9,000 other streams in my daughter. <laughs> 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 I broke Frank. Hey, that was what? What are we, two minutes into this? And I broke Frank already. No, All right. no. Oh Kyle, no. Kyle broke no. Frank. the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will be playing, of course, I'll be playing Taryn, my wood elf bard. Blake. <laughs> I just want to state right off the bat, I think that looks very manageable. That in and of itself scares me. Who are you playing tonight? It fills that empty void inside of all of us. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know, you know where the screaming jizz pets come from. It fills something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be playing Perpetua again this evening. I'm a little halfling girl that with a some something about a caustic vagina. Make your joke there. <clears throat> uh, joke That's is self-explanatory. So there. That's right. <laughs> So it's already there. Last but not least, Lucas. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Ernest, and I'm playing Lucas the anti druid <laughs> And uh, my goal, as always, is to kill as many things without dying myself. A noble goal for heroes. Uh, folks, these guys have been going for... 31 sessions, something like that. Uh, they are seven. We're coming up on about a year of the campaign, aren't we? I think so. Uh, it's well, if you divide 30, but nah, yeah, we should be something like that. We got a lot of shows for you. Oh, that's what it was. It was the archive. If you miss any of our shows, go to the archive. Uh, so anyway, th when last we left these guys, they had managed to defeat the uh, uh, zombie beholder and the gas spores uh, and uh, uh, some of them have wandered through Knoll Guts as they explore the eastern edge of the dungeon below the ruined Battle Keep 
in search of something called the Orb of Catching. Uh, we rejoin them after having a long rest in said room with the deflated beach ball slash zombie beholder. What would you guys like to do now? Did I take my, ooh, so we, yes, we got the long rest, right? So I need got the to long rest. All right, so let me reset that. So I we would, need to find where we haven't traveled and go there. Yeah. Well, if everyone else was sleeping, I would have carved up and I want some of those eye stalks if, the, if it's still in here with us. It is. Yeah, it, it did not disappear. Uh, I can't even must have misplaced that one uh so yeah you, you can take the eye stalks uh, their magic would have left the body at the time of its demise. oh i know but i'm, I'm going to do charlie chaplin <laughs> later. oh very nice uh okay um uh, i really don't want to sh show that part of the map um so uh do you guys remember how the layout was kind of sort of mostly <laughs> We, we, we were effectively sequestered in the lower quadrant of an equilateral triangle, right? Uh, you were in the middle. That's what I mean, in the, in the middle of the bottom part. Uh, or, or in the middle of the thing itself. I, I thought, I, I didn't, I guess. It's, I didn't a, it's an arrowhead, and you're right okay. here. Okay, I guess I didn't know which way the cubby was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get a uh, enhanced map here up to you shortly. But yes, you guys have all gotten your long rest. You've gotten your hit point. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, about your elbow or mid arm. Right there. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have found tunnels that lead to both of the exterior towers, uh, or you surmise that they are available. You haven't actually checked them, uh, but you can go that way or you can return back. We did have one more tunnel that we did not look at yet. Correct. I want to do that. Let's go yeah. back to the little central split off area and then check out the other tunnel. Yeah, I, I think it is. Remember, I made to the middle of my, I made it to the end of mine, there was nothing there. So I know that tunnel's clear and now we know what's down this one. So that just leaves, I think, the one on the right. Right. Yeah, which this, is this this on the right. Down, I think. Yeah, yes, because. Um, Benice went down this one. He had the um, his oh, spell because I because I, I saw the spore the spore clouds and came back. Yeah. No, no, way back when we first started. Exactly, I because I I saw the door and came back. Okay, that was a different area. No, no, that's no, no. I'm talking about way back at the beginning where we had the three tunnels we split into. Right, that's where I that's when I found Four. the door and came back. I thought the door was down here after we get by. I, I scouted ahead after the encounter. Right. We all ran into. Anyways, anyways, yeah, it's irrelevant. We're going back to the beginning. We're going to go down the other tunnel. Yes. Does that sound clear? You're muted, Frank. Uh, you guys are going back through the skeleton dungeon cell block. Yeah. Yeah. Back to where you originally descended in the tower. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> uh, you make your one. You should have to pass past the guardian who should still be there. Uh, how long did it last? One day. Yeah. It would be gone at this point with a long rest. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought the long. I thought it was twenty-four hours. No, I think it's like eight. Oh, but okay. I Okay. I think it's no, no, if it is, it's so fine. it's going to be dispelled. So as you guys make uh, your way through the carnage that was the uh, cell block, uh, you guys can or cannot point out that there are footprints along the ceiling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and as you make your way back to the original entry point, which was the tower in the center, uh, you come across nothing. <coughs> I because you killed zombies and gargoyles above. And there's some ripped up knolls or something. Yeah, no. there's a ripped up knoll that was destroyed by said guardian. Uh, and then you enter the tower area. So you can return up top. Uh, you can go check Taryn's route, which she reports was blocked. Or you can continue yeah. down Dewey and Lucas's tunnel. I yes, think. I want to do that. <clears throat> So you want to go down the Lucas Dewey tunnel. Correct. Oh, last one. 
Okay, you go about 80 feet and it tees off. There's a musty smell in this area. Um, go ahead and give me perception check. Nice help. Uh, dirty 20. Good. Oh, perception. Perception. Uh, I think that's a 21. That's a 10. Something really. Even the 10 will notice that uh, there seems to be water seepage here at this T. Uh, there's some pooling of water or fluid uh, right in the oh. intersection, and it will go left, south, or right, north. Like flowing water, like like we're stagnant uh, standing water, uh, okay. maybe from so there's a, there a storm possibly above us, and okay. yeah, no, there's no water on the walls. Okay. So left, uh, south, or right, north. Um, is north towards the the back of the keep? Yes, north is towards the back of the keep. Can I pause and try and feel movement of air, like throw, like scatter some sand and try and see if there's movement of air to try and determine where this is coming from? If there's a, if there's possibly another secret way in or out. Yeah, you can throw the sand. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll do this when it's up an opportune moment. So not, it's not <coughs> throw there. it in Taryn's trying, face as she walks by. I'm trying to get airflow is what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, you are not going to uh, be able to determine airflow. The, the stagnant is uh, just um, hangs in the air. It's not okay. wafting in. Okay, I, I, I saw where I was trying to figure out where the water came from. Gotcha. Below. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going north. Is that the general consensus towards the back of the keep? Sure, I'm good with that. If everyone else is. Yep, that, that works for me. Who is leading? Not me. No. Uh, I, I, think I, I, I think I was a stride. Not this guy. <laughs> I was a stride Dewey. Uh, Dewey You're and Perpetua. Lucas. <laughs> no, I, no, Lucas was in the middle. No, you I, were I, on top. Was, you were on top of Lucas. Well, yeah, going into the crazy. chambers, but when we were exploring, I was next to Dewey. So Dewey and Perpetua are going up first, correct? Yes. Uh, you tromp on through, you go about 30 feet, and you come to a four-way intersection. <laughs> Continue north, or you can go left or right. Are there any footprints other than Dewey and Lucas, or Dewey and Perpetuals? Mm -mm. No? Nope. Might, be a, might be a decent oh. time for a light. So it I'll is going to be dark here. So is there a is there like a pe small pebble or something on the ground? Um, I would assume so. Like a piece of just a small piece of debris, uh, inconsequentially. Sure. I could, I could give you one of my daggers. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm well, no, I'll pick it up. I'll cast light on it and throw it as far as I can. Oh, I see. For, forward. Uh, give me a performance roll. Let's see if you throw like a girl. Uh, would that wouldn't that be Dex? No, nope, we'll go performance. Okay. Uh, 17. He's performing um, play. You throw it about, eh, let's give you a roll. Uh, you throw it about 12 feet down the way, um, past the intersection. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I, I meant I meant it at the intersection I, is where I was assuming I was throwing that from, I'm sorry. So do you want it straight in the middle of the intersection? I want it to be thrown from the middle of the intersection. Yeah, so you, that's that's kind of what I thought. So okay. you, you throw it about 12 feet down. Uh, Tunnel continues. And it can, out of visible, past visible range, doesn't look like it was caved in or anything. Yeah, this, this uh, is standard area. Okay, I'll repeat that to the left and to the right. And each, each time I cast light again, my previous one is extinguished. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so are you guys continuing forward? No, I, I mean, before, before proceeding, I'm trying to gauge which, what, what's, what, what lies ahead in each area without having to split us up four ways. Uh, 
from your distance thrown, you're just going to see tunnel. It's okay. a lot than what you. No we're just going to go. You guys are talking over each other again. <laughs> Try again. I, go ahead, Carol. I think we just got to go. I mean, the tunnels are longer than. You heard her. She said, "Split up, folks." No. All right, I'll take the left. Now let's just go down the right like we agreed to, or the north, whatever that was, which I think was the right. Which is straight. North will be straight. It okay. takes off left and right. Oh. Well, as yes, I said, I think we did we agree on going north. So, no, this second. is all north. We just haven't, we're at a new intersection. Well, one oh. second. Carol, how far down your tunnel did you go before you saw the cave in or, or the end? It was 150 feet. And we've only Every gone, what, like 80 down the right or 30 down the right? I can't remember. We went 60. 60, I want to say. Okay. Because I, I was trying to think if we like doubled back that direction, if we would like run into the cave in yet or be past it. So I think we have to keep going farther north. Yeah. All I right. still thought of going north. I like the way you were thinking that it's at the back of the keep. So take the straight path. Yes. Sure. Uh, go about 60 feet. Cave in. Fuck. Gosh, if we had scouted this out, man, we would have found it pretty quickly. We are scouting it out. We're just doing it as a group. Well, so you can't see anything on the other side of the cave, and it's pretty like uh, much done. Completely uh, locked. So solidly. Mm -hmm. okay. cool. Do you guys want to go back and take the um, east path towards the more central part of the keep? One, one of those is going to essentially take us back to where we came, back to where we're headed. If if I'm if I'm thinking of the triangulation correctly, well, it, I mean I'm not sure. I, I think what I'm trying to get at is I don't want to go towards the wall of the keep. I want to go towards more central part of the keep and deeper. Right, right. right. I, I don't. I want to backtrack as little as possible. Yeah, but we're at a dead end. So I'm saying right, right. I, I know. Yeah. No, I, I, I would rather go to the furthest point and then have to backtrack back in than having to go all the way back out and then all the way back in. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, I'm, I'm in agreement with you, Lucas. So, so if you go okay. right, Lucas, that would take you more towards the interior of the key. Yeah, that's what I want. Gotcha. Everybody in favor of that or are you guys split I, I, I thought we I thought we just said exterior. <laughs> I, I'm totally in favor of that. OK, well, yeah, I'm, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're, for me. We're all going to the interior. Interior. Yes. Okay. Uh, you go about 25, 30 feet, uh, and it opens up into a room. There is broken furniture there, uh, scattered old moldy papers, and oh. it appears as though it's kind of um, an add-on because there's no cobblestone flooring here. It's just dirt floor. You can see a transom above the door. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's pretty standard except that there's no floor here. I will take uh, Perception by Dewey and Perpetua. Uh, <coughs> what was it? Mine was a 15. 19. Uh, the 19 will win. Uh, you see a glint of metal partially covered in the dirt near the back wall of this chamber. Hmm. Go poke it. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll grab it. As you enter in, uh, you notice that the ground becomes dislodged and a skeletal figure rises up with the secondary skeletal figure rising up next to it. The individuals are skeletal in nature, each wearing uh, the one is wearing the smaller one is wearing scraps of armor. The other one is wearing dented and rented plate <coughs> armor. Uh, that one is armed with an axe. The other one is armed with a great sword. Who is at the back of the group? I, I would have, as he entered, I would have not been next to him because I wouldn't have known that he was. But I, as I would have followed him. That's fine. Who's at the back? Uh, I'm usually more needs. towards the middle. All right, then. I'm at the back. 
Lucas, are you back with Taryn or? I'm right behind Colin Perpetua. Gotcha. Uh, Taryn, give me a perception check. Oh, that's another 21. That's awesome. Uh, there's something coming up behind you. Uh, and I will say, guys, we got something coming up behind us, too. And I'll turn around and draw my crossbow. Everybody roll initiative. Okay. Oh, my God. This stupid thing keeps rolling eights. So that's a nine. <laughs> back to back eights. I roll lower than you, but I got higher than you. Yeah, I only have a one for initiative. <laughs> Cleric speed. I'm going on a 10. Lucas, Perpetua, and Dewey? 16. Lucas and Dewey? 15. <laughs> Uh, they got a 21. Oh, shit. Uh, so, uh, mm. Dewey, you're getting the head guy. Lucas, odd. Perpetua, even. Seven. Lucas, you're getting the other one. Uh, and Taryn, you will see additional skeletons coming uh. in from behind. Probably okay. from the other room. <coughs> Uh, they will not attack this round because they do not have missile weapons. So we will start with Dewey, and he gets. Two. I'm just I'm just picturing like cracking off ribs and chucking them. Yeah, uh, he gets. This one gets two attacks for the axe, an 18 and a six. Add five, so 23 and an 11. Uh, the 23 will hit. Uh, as he hits you, the axe ignites uh, a blue flame, by the way. Uh, Lucas, you get the one with the great sword. Three and a four. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, 1d8 plus three plus two necrotic. Uh, two plus three, five plus two necrotic, uh, Dewey. Uh, and that is it as the rest of the skeletons continue to march down the tunnel towards Terran. So we will go with the 16 perpetual. Uh, I haven't gotten any feedback about how many are behind us yet. Nope. You don't, know, you don't know that there's anybody behind she said, you. She said I that didn't she call that. It. She used her words. Right. Call but that. You, we have income, but you, you don't know told, how many. Right. That's you what I'm saying. Told so, me how so there's many. only two in front of me that I can see, so I'm going to go and assist her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if it's going to get an opportunity attack, I'll use my action to disengage. Nope, it uh, it was going after doing Lucas, so it's okay. not. So uh, if that's a free movement, then uh, you don't have net dark vision, right, Taryn, or you do? Uh, I have or some I have vision. I'm an elf. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were a human. Oh, okay. Um, Is it elf for the five hundredth time? <laughs> I I don't know okay. why I keep thinking that. Um, so I will get I will get in front of her and I will. Uh, don't you want to get next to her? You can get next to me. There's stuff from both of us. Well, okay. I mean, I was trying. She's to, raising I was a cross. Trying, I was trying to protect you with my girth. Yeah, You're as a halfling. Uh, yeah, she's gonna shoot the halfling in the back of the head if you step no, in front of her. I'm probably not gonna shoot anything because the skeletons and I know it doesn't do diddly and squat right. again. So I was going to basically try and get in front of you so that I could just blast poison without hitting you. Oh, then then absolutely. Step in front. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So if there's one in front of me, I guess I need a dex save. I don't know how, how we want to play that. Uh, 19 plus 1, tw dirty 20. OK, uh, nothing happens. Okay, next up is the 15, Lucas. Ooh. Um, is this room big enough for me to be in bear form? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 20 by 25. 
Cool, cool, cool. Uh, well, then I'll use my bonus action to turn into the cave bear, and then I'll use my action to attack the sure. one with the long sword. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. So AC thirteen for yours. AC thirteen. Mm-hmm. Just have uh, scraps for armor. Then I hit with the uh, bite and claws. Okay. And this is a magical attack if there's any resistance. Nope. Pier- cool, piercing, cool. piercing. However, I'll need to know separately. Uh, well, I mean it's magical, mm-hmm. so that is thirteen for the bite. And pause is gonna be 20 magical. Nice, 33. Uh, next up is the 10. Uh, Taryn. Me. Um, so how many are behind us coming in? Four. A- after the poison squirt, they start to separate into the phalanx. Uh, and they're coming in at you. I'm thinking, let's see. I got a couple options here. Um, I want to cast, geez, I want to cast Bane. I hope this isn't going to be too confusing, Frank. I'll do Bane at second level. I want to target the two that are behind Mr. Flamey Axe and his buddy there, and then two in front, the two most front ones there. Uh, Car- Carol, I, I, think, I think you're confused about the location of them. There are two from the direction that I came from behind me. Behind right. You, and, and there's four in front of you. Four in front of me. Two behind me and two in front of me. Four, oh, in, no. front, four in front of us. Right. So I want to talk, but Mr. Flamiax is a big threat. So okay. I want. He's behind you. Right. right. There's a total of six. I can, yeah, but I only, I only want to do this as a second level, not okay. as a. Okay. Level. No. Okay. So I can only target four. So I'm picking okay. the. The two big threats, and to me, Mr. Flamey Axe is uh, pretty. That's a big threat right there. What's the range on that? Uh, Thirty feet. Are the other ones that far away? The first two are going to be close. Oh, so the other ones are still out of range. I, I would, the the I, other I, ones are going to attack next round. No, no, we're doing the 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 ones behind them. Basically, do you have to have a visual on them? Oh, have I got to cast this one direction? I think so. Uh, Or or new kids on the block. Maybe at 98 degrees. It just says that the three creatures are within range. It doesn't say particularly. I think the boys are in the hood, though. No, they're they're back in town. That's right. I think think it's. You know, boys to men. I'm pretty sure the spell works as if they're within 30 feet, no matter which direction, as long as I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll have you roll D12 against me for the uh, flame and axe guy because they're in the 20 by 25 foot room and you are at the back of the party. And I, and I didn't do a melee. Uh, all right, all right. Came back. But if yeah. they're right up against us, then but it should be 30 feet each direction, I would think. Well, it's 25 feet from the entrance and you're at the back. Right, but aren't we all too? together so it's five. Dewey and Lucas had to go in Perpetual went in Perpetual came back out you're squaring well, off at the back of the party well, with the four but a, thir- right. a, no, well, but a 30 foot radius I, I hear I hear what you're saying Carol a 30 foot radius would have covered that entire room and any in any range that I would have been able to cast a spell she's in the third rank though I know That's but- like 15 feet back and they're meleeing no 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 the- Okay, here's the entrance, and then there's 25 feet, okay? Uh-huh. And a- then here is Maniz outside the door, because he never went in, and here's you behind him. So depending on how much room you're going to give in between each other, usually five feet. No, usually I, I usually am right behind them. I don't put uh, ten. Because you said that you went and moved in that direction, didn't you? She couldn't what? because Maniz was blocking her. Oh, she, she's here, here's the thing if you want mr axe roll d12 against me if you just want to go for the four in front of you i'm fine with that but mr axe is going to need a d12 because i don't think you're going to be within range i think it either it is or it isn't but and it still doesn't really if the room's only 25 feet and i'm only five feet outside of it 
because I would be right next to him. That should cover the room. D12 if you want him. Nope, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna make it easier. I'm gonna go for the four behind us. Three, make four, four. And five, and six. Christmas save a 15. 17, two, four, and 18. Uh, I don't think they get uh, minus three, two. Wait. So uh, 14 <laughs> and 15 are the high rolls. Uh, the 15 is the only one that makes it. <laughs> okay. that, we'll have uh, oh, it's a minus D4 to their attack rolls. Gotcha. And I think maybe saves. Yeah, you know, like, I'm pretty sure it's attacks and saves. Yeah, because bless is the opposite. Gotcha. Are you done? Acts and saves. Uh, I will, as a bonus action, I'm going to inspire, give a point of inspiration to Perpetua because she has come up to help me. I'm like, we and, got and I, and I didn't try and squirt you out of my pussy. Maniz, <laughs> she says this for your inspiration, and that puts you up. What? Um, so there's three or four behind us. Four behind you, two in four. front of you. Okay, and um, would I see Flaming Axe Dude from where I am? You would I'm, be in the middle, so yes, you would see him, but he's about 25 feet away from you. Oh, that's not a problem. I can definitely get him with my crossbow. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> that's, that's not, that's, I'm rolling low, so I'm worried. <laughs> it's Dewey. Who cares? Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can do something. I say roll it. Come on, roll a fucking die, pussy. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to take a shot with my crossbow. I hope it's a one. <laughs> oh, fuck, sweet baby Jesus, it's not a one. Uh, that'll be a 21. Oh, easily hit. Well, not easily hits him, but yeah, it hits him. Uh, You're aiming at the one on Dewey, correct? The flaming, flaming axe guy. Gotcha. Yeah. And that'll be nine piercing damage. Okay. Oh, shit. I rolled an eight on a D8. Okay. I'm rolling the red dice from now on. <laughs> uh, that brings us to Dewey. You're up. It. Um, there we go. Uh, uh, Dewey will pull out his shield and battle axe. Um, How many attacks are you going to do? Probably two. Okay. Uh, the AC is going to be different, and you'll understand why later. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, recklessly, we have a 22 to hit. <coughs> yep. And second is 25 to hit. Both hit. Okay. And you are reckless? I am reckless and raging. Gotcha. So that is 12, 21, 25, and uh, 25 slashing damage and eight um, uh, radiant damage. Got it. Top of the order, uh, me. Uh... This time I'll do three attacks against Dewey. No. <laughs> Ooh, that's horrible. Uh, dirty 20 is the best I can do. Uh, that's the only one that'll hit. Hey, hold it. I get advantage, don't I? You do. Oh, hang on. Me roll. Uh, and then another 18. So two of them hit you. So uh, an 18 to hit? 18 plus six. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, take. Four necrotic. Okay. And uh, ooh, uh, six and 14 take 20 slashing. Okay. I will uh, take 10. Because you are raging. Uh, okay. Next up is Lucas. Uh, 10 and a ooh, one. You'll have advantage against him. Uh, six. 16. Wait, is, oh, 10 plus 6? Yeah, that hits. Yeah, and, and, the, and the other one is a nat 1. So, <laughs> uh, 2d6 that's, plus... That's, 
Yeah, okay. Four plus seven, 11 hit points of damage slashing. Uh, behind you, Taryn and Blake, since you guys stepped up. Uh, Taryn, 17 and 15 add six, so 21 is the worst. Well, that hits. We'll get, get, okay. what, what else have you got there? Uh, the other one was higher. Roll your D. Wait, is it one of the ones that was Bane? Uh, yes. All right, and you rolled the D4? A one. Sucks. And a one. So, yeah. Uh, so and then Blake. What? So, what were the rolls against me again uh, to hit? Because my is probably a six. It was like 20. 20 yeah. 20, 20, and I, know. I was wondering. And, my, and you subtract one. So, you, 21 and 22, I think. Right. No, no. No, the 22 hit. I thought you hit me a second time. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, you hit me twice, right? Correct. They attack two times. Only okay. only one skeleton's attacking you, one skeleton's attacking Perpetua. They get two attacks. Okay. The other two are are also using great swords. They will not be able to attack you guys until their cohorts are dead. So Perpetua. 13 and 5, so 19's the best I can do. Uh, is that oh, hang on, know? hang on. 19 minus 1, 18. 19. So... Yes I, or no? I, I don't even have to waste a shield. No, they miss. Okay. Uh, on Terran. Oh, wait, Damn it. no. I, I, I take that back. I found a ring that I attuned to. It's now 20. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. 2d6 plus 4 times 2 is uh, 7 plus 4, 11, 22 total. Slashing. Good freaking God. <laughs> uh, and I am done. And that takes us back to 16, Perpetua. Okay, so now it's it's within melee of me. Uh -huh. I'm but, not thrilled about that, but since I don't have much say in the matter, I'm going to uh, are, are these wearing anything? Uh, yes, scraps. Scra scraps of of like old plate oh. ring or something. Probably scale and leather. Uh, heat metal would not be a good idea. Is any of it going to be metal? Yeah, it's some bits, but heat metal's not going to do you much good. I'm going here. to shock and grasp it. I, I need to know if it's going to have advantage or not. Uh, nah, nah, it's just scraps. Now, if you did that to the to Kyle's, okay, yeah, you, you'd that's light fair. that thing up. That's fair. I'm still going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to make a melee attack on it. That's going to be a 13 plus 8, 21 to hit. Hits. And yours is number four. OK. Uh, it's, it takes five lightning damage. Okay. And it cannot make reactions this turn for what it's worth. This, one, this thing cannot. Uh, Dewey's can. Meaning it won't be able to opportunity attack us either. That's fine. That's uh, next up. Uh, no, and, and, and I like that so much. Uh, am I within five feet of Terrans? Oh, yeah. You guys are right next to each other. I will quicken that and do that one more time. Okay. Oh. On to hers or Correct. yours? Okay. On to hers. So five to that or something different? Uh, I have to roll to see if I hit. Uh, and that's a and don't forget, you have inspiration. Yeah, that's a 16, 16 hits. Hit. Uh, that is seven lightning, and it also can't make can't make reactions, and that'll be my turn. Lucas, you're up. 15. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm going to do my multi-attack here. Taryn, you're on deck. Yep. And I, my <laughs> first attack... 15, that's with advantage? Yes, that hits. Okay, and then my second attack here is gonna be 14. That hits. All right. Uh, magic number is 13 for everybody's but uh, Dewey's. Nice. 13. All right, so my first attack here is 14 magic. 
And then my claws are only going to be 15 magic. Dead. 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 Yeah. Uh, the bones scatter about the dirt. Uh, next up, 10. Taryn. All right. So do I have to make a step back to cast a magic missile or am I good because the guy can't attack me? No, you're I good. I mean, I mean it, 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 since it's an auto hit, I wouldn't say that it would suffer a disadvantage for being a ranged that's attack. Really okay, so I get three. I'm going to make this a, what level am I making this? I'm going to make this a... Mm-hmm. It's three at first, four at four. I know, I, that's it, like six at third. No, sorry, sorry five at third. Um, no, I'm going to make it a second level, I think. And I'm going to put it all in the one right in front of me. Yeah. Because I don't have shit to hit skeletons. I, I, did, I did damage yours, Taryn. Good. Twelve. Oh, no, actually, wait, I lied. I'm going to put it in the one behind it. Because okay. there's even a threat. If you can keep the other two out of commission, that'd be cool. Um, let's see. Oh, that's, I can't even read this die. So three, five, and eight is 13, and four is 17 points of damage. Okay. That it? Yeah. Uh, number nine, my knees. <laughs> I, nobody needs any health, right? I think we're all early. Um, Taryn, Taryn took 22. I could, I only have 45 full, so um, but have, must be have, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's 15% more than me. You know what? You know what? It's okay. Don't, um, it. no, no, but if you if you need help, I, I, I can be useful. Goose her, goose problem. her, goose her. Uh, oh. let's do <laughs> goose me. That's heal. If I drop, then heal me, okay? There's how do you know. If I fall on the ground. No, no, no. I'll do uh I'll do a cure wounds on <laughs> Taryn. That is a as he holds her shoulders and screeches, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> he gets eight health. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh that it? <coughs> um yeah, unless I have a bonus action worth doing, I don't think I do. And I can't bonus action shoot a weapon, right? No. No. No, that's what I figured. Uh, no, that'll be it. That'll be Dewey, you're up. Uh, recklessly attack some more. Nope. Oh, that's uh, going to suck. Your AC for this one's 18 straight. All, all your attacks, 18 straight. Oh. Okay. First one misses, and the second one is a net 20. Okay. There we go. Let's roll that. Add another one of those. Um, all right, 12, 23, 5, 6, uh, hold on, sorry. 23 uh, slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And that is 14 radiant damage. 79. Okay. Are you done or do you have a third attack? Nope. That's it. Uh, Top of the order. Uh, Dewey, I'm going to try for three again. Uh, Advantage. Yeah, I'm going to. Does a 21 get you? That'll hit. Okay, so the 21 and the 22 get you, and the reroll, nat 20. So all three hit you. Sure. Uh, <coughs> do, uh, it's the axe, so it's going to leave a mark. So take six necrotic. Okay. Ooh, max eight. Uh, eight plus three is 11, times three is 33, so 16. 16 sounds right. 16. Uh, Lucas, nobody on you. Uh, Perpetua, 5 and 14, uh, dirty 20. Bane. Are they Bane? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Well, well, did you? 
Yeah, you banged it after they hit you, didn't you? So yeah. That one's know. minus three, so that's I only a 17. Take okay. my concentration check, so they're still banged. Okay. okay. And, and then, then yeah. on, but I missed it. Yeah, and then on Taryn, the bane is minus two, a nat 20. Oh, right? and a 12. Uh, 16 knocks it to 14, but the nat 20 is the nat 20. So. That's 20. Will hit. Well, uh, it, that will take it away from being a crit, but it'll still hit. Uh, five plus four, nine damage. Oh, that's it this time? Not 20? That's it. Nope, that's it. Uh, and that is me. So <laughs> back to Perpetua. You have still four in front of you. Uh, in the other side behind you, there's only one up. Okay. Uh, did, you, did you keep your concentration? I what? You just took concentration damage. for getting hit. Oh right, 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 right. I yeah, and this time it'll be it'll be a flat ten. Uh, wait. Uh, what do you add to it? Is it just a flat con. roll? You add your con. Okay, then I do make it because that makes a ten. <laughs> okay. Okay, perpetual. You're up. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't really have anything else particularly handy for this occasion, I don't think. Um, no, I'm just going to... Do that again. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I think I'm... Well, I don't want to waste all my all my sorcery points. Um, Fair. Uh, but yeah, I will do that to one of them at least. Uh, that's going to be a 27 to hit. Oh, yeah, easily. Uh, just These guys sure. are 13. I'm just making sure. Yep. Uh, it's going to take eight lightning, and it can't make reactions. This is the one that was attacking me this time, so it was the one that took less damage last round. So number five, or number four. Number so four. eight more, right? 13. Right. Uh, <coughs> and I'm going to go ahead and use my sorcery point to... Uh, reinstill my elemental affinity. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be my turn. Uh, Taryn, 15, or I'm sorry, Lucas, 15. Uh, yours is down. Yeah, I'm, I want to help out uh, Dewey's. Mm -hmm. Is it AC 18? 18, straight across the board. All right, let's, let's try this. And I only hit with my claws. So. Okay. But is it enough? What? Is it enough? Because he's severely wounded. That was 15 magic slashing. Uh, Dewey, looks like your guy's down. Uh, next up is the 10, Taryn. Um, that worked out pretty well. Um, so now I got three that are fairly far that are hurt. Um, I'm just defining which one I want to do. I want to do that again. How bad do they look? I mean, do they look like lots of bone pieces are missing or no? Or not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. You've got seven, 13, and 17 worth uh, of damage on them. I'll hit, I'm going to put the magic missile on the one that's right in front because I then realized it's on reactions, not on it. That was really so the one that's attacking you is number three. That one, yeah. number okay. three. So that is. All right, so that's eight, 10, 11, and so 15 points. Got it. Uh, next up is nine, Manise. <coughs> um, you hear clatters of bones behind you, and you still have four skeletal figures in front of you. Skeletal figures, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go with... I can't believe nobody <laughs> even thought to, you know... <laughs> well, but, I mean, a cleric, I'm going to go a with... Cleric. Cleric. <laughs> yeah, but, but he makes his own... He's a big boy. He makes his own decisions. Oh, there's skeletons. This is like the third or fourth round. <laughs> well, plus the way, we, don't, we don't know how difficult he made these things. They might not, they might not have been obliterated. It's true. Uh, I, will, I will cast uh, Destroy Undead. Okay. And then three of them are uh, so you need to make a saving throw, deck save of 13. How anything, many? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anything it's, CR one half or lower. Uh, 
And it's any it's anything that can see or hear him. Okay, so, but it's CR one half. Yeah. Yeah, they're fine. Well, they're not. But but, they're, but, it, but they still might be turned. They still might be afraid of him. They're just not obliterated. Yeah. And they and remember, three of them are bane, so you have to put that. You take off a D four, and they're saves too. Uh, on two of them, I don't. Oh, on three of them, I don't need to because it's a. Uh, Way above. What, what do I need? I am uh, one half or lower. Thirteen. Yeah, I don't. So one again. So 14, 16, 15, yeah. and eight. So one of them will take damage. Uh, actually, which one is it, the it, one that's it, it not banged? It won't take damage. One, it two, will, three, it, it four. Uh, so it just says when Ender uh, fails a saving throw, he right. turn into a future is instantly destroyed. It's yeah, a it, 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 it is now afraid of him. Well, it doesn't say that. It just states that it's destroyed. No, well, but again, it doesn't. Doesn't show all the rules here either. The, so. the, 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 the feature is turn undead, but it destroys them if, if they're. Oh, uh, yes, turn and the, yes, you're right, you're right. Well, they aren't attacking him, so that's cool. Uh, next well, up, well, Dewey. But the one that failed has to run away from him now. Moves away for okay. turns. Which may make a difference. Uh, not yet, but it might. Go ahead, Dewey. Because that was. I four. am going to pull the axe off the corpse in front of me. Uh huh. And I will charge to the front and swing, if I may. Ooh, you got to make it through three people, dude. I'm short. Athletic uh, and acrobatic. You, you got my legs again, you freak. Perpetua, and you've got the elf. <laughs> uh, I will go through the elf's legs. Uh, what's your movement? Axe, though. Uh, 35. Yeah, you'll be able to get to them. Um, the attack, I'll give you one attack because you're going to have to maneuver. Uh, but yeah, they're right at 35. Sure thing. Uh, recklessly attack. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is an at 20. Nice. Okay. Uh, are you trying to attack the one in front of Terran or the one in front of Perpetua? Uh, uh, Terran is... The one I'm going after, since she has the legs, I can maneuver. Yeah, he, he number right. three. Eggs. What have you? <laughs> I've only read about those in books. <laughs> Why is it so large? <laughs> Where are those hangs hanging off of it? Why are there cobwebs here? <laughs> <laughs> the boulder has been pushed away. Jesus has risen. Uh, that thing's 25. shiny and has a gemstone on the tip. I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, 25 hits. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. Uh, it was a natural 20 to hit. Mm -hmm. 25 oh, slashing right. damage and 13 okay. radiant damage. Does the axe do anything else? Uh, you have not attuned it, so no. All right. Uh, that is enough to shatter it. Done? Done. Okay. Uh, the one behind it steps up to attack Terran because it doesn't like magic missiles to its face. <laughs> Shit. Would not uh, be in well, front of Terran? No, no. no. Dewey is in between Terran and it. No, we're in the same square. He's, oh, okay. he's like this. He's here. She's up here. She shot him in the face. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if she can't see you because of her voluminous. Uh, minus, minus three on the roll, but a 19. So 16, does that hit you? That's exactly what you need. And the other one is a six or something, so it doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, boxcars. Uh, 12 plus four, 16 damage. Uh, and then on Perpetua. Ow! <laughs> uh, minus four, so a 13 is the best I can roll. Uh, nope, those will both miss. So, uh, Perpetua, you were up. Hmm. Well... I'm liking the idea of hmm. 
Uh, no, I, I have I have to do that. Everything else is everything else is piercing. So okay. hang, on, hang on just a second, Taryn. Uh, did you roll for concentration? Oh right, 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 right. That was oh, yeah. That that, that Gosh, well, Karen, come did, on. Did you say it was minus four, Frank, and it was fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, it won't matter. Well, it was seventeen minus four. It was thirteen. Well, how many points of damage was that again? I don't know. It is 16 points of damage. So it would be All oh, right. 10. So it's a 10. I rolled exactly a 10 again. It is you aren't, you aren't hit. Okay, so what are you doing? Well, well I, I I my AC was still 19, so it wouldn't have mattered if, if yeah, but uh It's 20 now. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what we determined. Um mm -hmm. Uh that's a 22 to hit. I'm mm -hmm. shocking it again. Yours, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not attacking the well. Let's do I'm, yours first. Well, well, no, I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think re re rationally because I saw her blast this thing with magic missiles. So I would assume that I'm probably going to be able to take it down. I don't know if I can take mine down. Sure, go ahead. Would be, would be the logic that I'm thinking there. That that's fine. But no, I, I my instinct told me to go for the one in front of me. I'm going to do that. It takes another six. Okay. Uh. And I tell you what, I'll twin that for just one more sorcery point, and <clears throat> the other one takes six as well. Okay. Uh, Taryn, you're up. Mm, that really friggin' hurt. Um, uh, I probably have to fall. I have to fall back anyways, because I don't think two of us really should be in the same square. Unless that's okay with you. Uh, God, I don't want to friggin' quit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a third level magic missile. And add another missile. All right. Yes. Right, Use guys. all your spells on this encounter, please. <laughs> it's not all of them. <laughs> not even the big ones, actually. Uh, this is, let's see. Eight. This is I'm, a, I, I'm anxious to see you guys against this big bad guy. Uh, I'm trying to just do my shitty can tricks. Wow. 13, 17, and 5 is 20. Oh, shit. And, all, and I, I, didn't, I, wasn't, I was only rolling 1d8. All of the damage I've done is supposed to be doubled. I, I'm uh, so 2, 12 instead? I'm at, I'm at 2. For, no, the entire time. Okay. I, I've only been rolling one d8. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch that. What you doing, Taryn? Seventeen, uh, seventeen, and five. Twenty-two points of magic missile damage against the one that friggin' just walled me. That is enough to put it down. God. Are you done? Uh, um, I'm gonna bonus action to give Dewey, and I'll pat him on the head. Come on, let's finish this, and I give you a point of inspiration. That's not her hand. Uh, Manise, you're up. <laughs> don't sit on him. <laughs> uh, what do we have left, three or four? Two? Okay. Uh, you've got one. I have one. How one, far? One is fled. One is in front of Dewey. Okay, so not that far. Wait, didn't I just... Hmm. Killed that one because that was the one in front of me too. Oh, it's Perpetuous. I'm sorry, Perpetuous. Perpetuous one. Number is number four is still so alive. Number six it, is running. It, it's taken twenty six plus plus twelve. No, no, I told you my, all of my damage. Was, right, twenty three plus twelve. Because it took five, eight, nineteen, twenty three. Right, so I did, and did you had twelve, points. so no, well, I thirty-five. I did, I did five and eight, right? Mm -hmm. So that's ten and sixteen is twenty-six. Plus six from last round or from this round is another twelve. Okay, no, go ahead, Manise. Yeah. Um, I will fire off guiding bolt at the one that's running. Uh, you're the blind one, right? Oh, is it like we can't see dark? Oh, yeah, you're it's underground. Okay, yeah. well, well forget that. Turn, if I can't see it, I'm not going to bother taking a pot shot at it. Uh, I will use... <laughs> you can still hit Perpetuas. 
Yeah, that's, that's what right, I'll that's do. right there. Sacred Flame, so that'll be a Dex 13 save. I don't think they get Dex bonus. Oh, they get plus one. Uh, two, so All right, three. Well, that's a fail. And that is six, uh, six Radiant. Okay. And that's uh, a Dewey, uh, it's pretty beat up. You going to finish it off? Uh, a 20 says I do, and a over 13 says I do. All, all it should take is a couple light tugs. They normally have a very, very uh, hair trigger. There you go. You're done. Uh, that is it. Uh, you can hear the plotting of feet. How long uh, is it afraid of you, Maniz? It, it has uh, the opportunity to save once it's out of view. There you go. That. Okay. Uh, you guys you are alone. The plotting of a skeleton coming back. Nope. <laughs> not, not yet. I I'm would have wanted to give chase if, if, if the one in front of me has fallen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody, I don't know, I don't everybody's dead. I don't know where this thing came from. And Behind I'm, you. I, huh? Behind you. Well, I know, but I'm, I'm curious where, what we missed, where they came from. So... I, I think logic would tell you where it came from, but go ahead. Is there a uh, dug up pit underneath the uh, ground there? No, it, it's just uh, a shallow grave. Uh, which is where the musty water was. No, the musty water is around the corner still. I hate to ask, can I have 10 minutes <laughs> or healing or something? Oh yeah, I can heal you, that's fine. Uh, is anybody going with Perpetua? I'm really fucking back well, off. I, I guess let me let me let me. I guess let me do an intelligence check to see if I would have figured that out. Because if if it's not going to report to someone, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to run away from the group. You can serve. Okay, yeah. Do your intelligence check. Not one. Oh. Uh, no idea. Oh. Okay. I'll cast prayer of healing on uh, Karen. Okay. Ooh. I mean, I think we'd all appreciate it. I'm yeah. fine. I didn't come. Oh, I, I'm, I'm under I, no. oh, I can do up to six I creatures. Yeah. I'm at six. Uh, okay, so I'll do Taryn Dewey. Who else needs health? I don't, I don't think anybody a, else does, eh? I'll go grab that metal shaft while he's praying. Shaft? Yeah, it was a metal stick. It, it was the that, that's the hilt of the axe. Oh, that I'm now holding. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we are taking ten. That's that's the prayer of healing is the ten minute rest one, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm uh, gonna, also so doing a short rest as well, or no? Thirteen split between the two of them. I and mean, we have to if he's doing that. At some point in time, that thing is coming back. So if you guys are going to dink around, uh, it, I, it will I, come I, back at minute number two. So if I, if, I, if I follow it and I come across the grave. It's already out of the ground. I know, but I would have seen where it emerged from, I'm questioning. Mm -mm. I'm not going to trip over it on my way to it. Oh, it'll come running back at you. Okay. That's that's why I'm asking. Is anyone else going with her? When it starts he, coming, when it starts coming back, I'm going to kite it back to the group. Uh, they're getting healed. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll block it from getting to them, but I'm going to just try and. Uh, Lucas is a bear. I'm sure he would kite, help. Kite it back yeah. that just the direction. That, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. You know, a little volunteer in action. No, I, I wouldn't want to. I don't, wouldn't want to bother him. Uh, Perpetual comes running back uh, a few minutes later while Mediz is still uh, giving the uh, feeling finger away, and mm -hmm. there is a skeleton in hot pursuit. Even, even can can I be running backwards and squirting at this thing while it's coming back? I'll take a dex check. Fair enough. Uh, running check. squirts. Okay. <laughs> it's what? A check is a 19. Okay. Uh, and what do I need to say? Also, dex. Uh, 17 plus 1, 18. Dex, plenty. Uh, 
but I'd be doing that for a couple rounds at least. Uh, the second one will hit. Uh, the and third one will miss with an add 20. And just for. And then 16 plus one, does a 17 pass that? Uh, it's a 16 save, so only one will. Uh, I had a 15, 13, and a 11 <coughs> for my dexes. Okay. So uh, if we're saying one of those hit, it's going to take 2d12. Before, before it gets back to us effectively. Manise, are you in the room praying this 10 minutes, or are you still in the hallway? Um, well, I would have been, I've got a 30 foot range on it, so I could be pretty much anywhere. Um, my, my question is if you're going to be in the hallway as she well, brings I would have, I would have already been in the room because I would have been in front of Taryn in the room regardless. I would have crawled into that room anyways. That's fair. How much damage? Uh, 15 and I'm going to try and try and hold it here. Uh, Lucas, Perpetua, uh, go ahead and do initiative while the others are getting the healing touch. 16. Uh, that's only going to be 7. 11. So, 11. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, if I get, I'll split my attacks. Uh, Lucas is orange and Blake is translucent. Uh, 11 on the translucent. Three on the orange, so I'm not going to hit anything. Uh, Eleven, Lucas, you're up. Cool, cool, cool. I do my multi attack on it. These are the thirteens. <laughs> and uh, my first attack is a nat one with my bite. Odd you, even Blake. I bite myself. <laughs> Possibly, as your claws are extending out. Well, it's my bite. Right, but you're biting oh, and clawing. Yeah. Odd you, even Blake. Yeah, even. So I hit Blake. Gotcha. Um, now, am I going to be in range of this prayer of healing when it finally goes off? Uh, <laughs> so, I know. He, he was already doing that while you were running backwards squirting yeah. poison. That, that was 11. <laughs> so, five. so five. So five. And the claw? And the claw. That was a 13 to hit? Yep. That's it? All right, cool. Easy to hit, but not your standard skeletons. All right, that's 16 magic slashing with that one. 31. Go ahead, uh, Perpetual. You're up. Uh, Dex again. Ooh, that's a six, I think. Yeah, okay. six, so seven. Okay, so, and I'm not going to roll to see if I fall because I'm going to hold my ground, and that's going to be 11. 42, top of the order. Oh, it, it, but but I, I, again, sorry, I used my sorcery point to give myself affinity during the last battle. That lasts for an hour. So I do an additional something on that. Hang on, what is it? Uh, I do an additional, oh, fuck it, fuck, fuck, where is it? Uh, an additional five each time I hit. So I hit twice, I would do an additional 10 poison. So 52. All right, same thing. Uh, 16 and a 9, 16 plus 6 is 24, and it's the translucent, 24 on perpetual. Yay, nay? Uh, I'll eat it. Okay. 4 plus 4, 8 damage, slashing, if it matters. Uh, Lucas, put it out of its misery. Alrighty, let's do this again. Or put perpetual out of her I was going to say, I'm like, do I need to get out of range? Jesus. Uh, well, that was a two, so you're fine. Uh, let's try the claws. Claws hit with 13. <laughs> you do more than two hit points, right? Well, then it's dead. Okay. Uh, that is the last of the skeletons. Woo! Thank you, guys. Ten minutes elapse, and uh, some of you have gotten healed. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to search this room. I want to thank Lucas. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, search. Uh, you can search. Uh, there's some old papers in here. Uh, very difficult to read. Some old furniture. Looks like a guard outpost almost. 
uh, and then uh, the disheveled ground from where the skeletons were. Rose were any up. of these former guards uh, buried in their uh, uh, with, with their commendations on them? Can I? Is there any shiny? No medals. Ah, fuck that shit. Hey, I have a I have a question. Do we want to actually wait here an hour so that Dewey can uh, attune himself to that axe? Uh, why don't you see what it is first? I mean, I can cast detect magic. Uh, oh, I mean, it's magic. <laughs> I, I would be. I would. Be oh, sure, to, right. I would. I, saying this after I immediately put on the mysterious magical ring I found in the other room, I would be curious to see if it's cursed or not. Uh, Do you want? I mean, what is it to find? It's detect magic in Arcana. No, we have to have identify magic. Yeah, <laughs> it's just identify. It's just identify. It can just. I uh, check out the X, see if there's any magic ruins on it, and try to identify it just from the knowledge I have as a librarian. I mean, it caught on magical fire. Uh, no, but I sent you the message what it does once it's attuned. No. <laughs> does it talk to him? Does it talk to him? It's your soul. No, it's okay. just uh, paperwork. Yeah, don't uh, worry about it. Okay, so... Um, what now? Do we wait for him? Do you want to tune yourself to that first? And yeah. everyone gets 10 minutes? Oh, shit. Get- then I'm like, if we're doing that, then I'll burn up some hit dice, but I'm not really that that worried about it at the moment. So your guys' call. I'm well below half hit points right now, so I wouldn't well, mind a short rest either. The, the prayer just went off. Oh, yeah, even after that. Yeah, oh, no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> It turns out when you're not raging as a barbarian, you take full damage. It kind of sucks. That you were raging at the beginning. You were raging. Not the first hit, he wasn't. The very first time you said raging and recklessly. But the first time uh, I got, I won the initiative. So I didn't get to attack at advantage. I'm just thinking about that. You were still raging. Were you not able to maintain your rage? He was not raging. You guys were wandering through the dungeon. I won initiative. Uh, I attack before he rages. Yeah. Oh, and you, would have had to, you would have had to give up an attack to rage. No. No, he just he just rages on his turn, but I beat him on initiative, so he mm-hmm. doesn't get his turn first. Oh, so no, I first, don't get that resistance. Very, the very first hit, I got it. Hey. That was that big of a wall. Okay. But do, I mean, I I mean, I I thought we you did take a short rest with me, anyways. So. You should be able to burn. Oh, rest is? is an hour. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. that. Then you guys mentioned, well, in the house rules, 10 minutes. Okay. Well, I think we should take a short rest. I think he should attune himself to the axe. I think we're going to need it. Doesn't it take longer than... I think it's only an hour. Only an hour to attune. It's really? Only an hour. So we take a short rest and we can... Attune. Unless you want it to be more, Frank. I, it, you've seen what it does, so it's not that spectacular. I, mean, I just, no. I, that's a stupid rule again, but I, I don't care. If well, you I mean, to it, technically, I'm, I'm, you're supposed to be able to identify a magical item by holding it for an hour or two instead of casting identify. Right. Bullshit. Right? <laughs> they, they can throw that and Merkel's out the door. Well, I would say that would only be relevant depending on your knowledge of the. Of the I think it should be our candidate checks, checks, but yeah. that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and speed this up so you guys can actually do something other than a less than easy encounter tonight. <laughs> you almost murdered me with that. Hey, one. I'm good with a less than easy encounter. I, that's that's I'm I'm puzzled here because I'm doing the math and it's like this cannot be that difficult. You guys blew through the zombie. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys have rested for I don't give a shit how long. What do you want to do? <laughs> let's go. Uh, wasn't there the one path left? No, uh, Blake found it and it returned, and you killed it. No, no, the path. Oh yeah, there's still a path that you guys haven't gone. Yeah, I want to check that out. Yeah, uh, that would be the path to the left. Uh, oh no, are, are, we, are we in a dead end? Yeah. Oh okay, I I didn't know if there was a door or anything. Yeah, it's a, there's a room, and that's it. Uh, it is an exact duplicate of the other room. Nothing of nothing of relevance or import. Uh, dirt floor. You can surmise that this is where the four skeletons came from. What about the other two? 
The other two were in the first room. I know. They were already there. So does someone want to like um, go check through this cave-in? Uh, I can do gaseous form on them so they can like go through the cracks. Uh, I could blink it or misty step it if we think that it's just on the other side. Uh, misty step, step requires sight and only does 30 feet. I, I think if you know where you're going. If, uh, if we've been on the other side of it. You tell up to 30 feet into an occupied space that you can see. Is Misty Oh, okay. Whereas Gash's form is up to an hour where- Oh, well, I'm, think, I'm thinking of dimension doors where you can, as, as long as you can, as long as you have an idea of where you're supposed to be going. But do you know how far that that cave-in goes? Well, how sure are we that that's, that there's not something in between this cave in and the cave in on the other side. Well, no, I'm I'm not. I don't disagree with you, but the problem, but the thing of it is, if you just D door and you materialize. Oh no, 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 no! I'm, I'm not offering to do that. I'm good because I don't want. Because 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 no, I I am like reassessing that. I think that I would probably end up in in somewhere that would either a be a waste of a spell slot or b be somewhere that I. I'm not going to have the chance to get myself out of in time to be safe. Well, Blake, Gash's form lasts for an hour, so you yeah. can like scout ahead past that cave in to see what's going on. I think that's a great Come idea. Back. I really think that's I, a I am I am opposed to Gash's form for reasons outside of this game. <laughs> I think that's a fair assessment. Outside of because you, because you are not you are not immune to damage while in gaseous form. We oh, some of us know that firsthand. <laughs> but but uh, Patrick, one thing I do realize too is you have you have a really good you're very well protected. Okay, you've got good armor class. Uh huh. Not in gaseous form. Oh okay. Yeah. I'm I'm trying. I think it's a great idea, but you're right. I just don't want to. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, I think it'd be. I don't think it's worth the spell right now. I, th I think. I think. Uh, I, I think that there's something here that doesn't want us here because it, it seems to be sending some sort of undead after us. Or, or yeah, no, and you, you maintain I, the same AC when you're in Gash's form. Yeah, but and you're not to damage. Not I don't. I, I would prefer not to. I, I would prefer not no, to. That's okay. fair. If you want to, Mazel. Do we also just want to check the west hallway? That's what you guys yeah. just did. Oh, well, the east hallway. That's where you guys found the original skeletons. North, no, north is the caved in section. You north went east. That's where you found the two skeletons. And the south. west is where the four came from. Uh, Why haven't we checked that? What are we missing? South, south yeah. past the. Uh, Muddy, murky, uh, stagnant water. Because this this All was right. a totally intersection. So let's let's try that way first. Okay. Haven may just. I, you're absolutely right. I don't. I think it's a bad idea to risk to risk that much on this. Um, <laughs> unless we have to. We, I was we need say, to it, best case scenario. What's it do? It takes us back where we're going ultimately, anyways. Like to get out of here. All right, let's just check the south path first. Uh, you go about 60, 80 feet, uh, and you come to a small antechamber. There's a set of stairs leading up into the wooden floor above. No other doors? Yep, tower? Oh, maybe not. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry, say that one more time. There's an antechamber and then stairs leading to an, a door to in the mm. trap door into the roof. Basically a cellar door. Yeah. Go check it out. I'll take uh, perception checks by everybody. Um, 17. 23. 10. Yeah. 14. 16. Uh, you all smell a faint aroma of horse shit. Oh, this is the stables. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> But now then we know where we oh god, can you didn't we made that suggestion that what if yeah, we that additional piece of information am I logically able to surmise that that yes. I that this is the stables I explored upstairs? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're thinking the south wall probably leads out into the pasture. Okay. 
Realistically, you would surmise that. Did I not see this door in the stables? Uh, why don't you push on the door and see? It's covered yeah. under rubble, right? Well, no, I'm just trying to remember. I did not see a door when I was in the stables. Did I? You you found the door leading outside. Right, but out. not, not, one, not one down. Correct. Not, okay. You did not see a trap door because okay, of the that, rubble. That, that was my question, yeah. Okay. So I would like to ascend the stairs and just give a listen to sure. confirm see to see if it sounds like it's exterior or anything if there's wind sure go ahead perception uh so, <laughs> no no so it's probably an enclosed area it's probably covered up with old dried horse shit maybe remember the tower that you were in led to the pasture where the horse shit was. Oh, okay. So this is this would be I, the I, got tower. I, I, would be I, the I was tower. thinking of the stables as a singular. Okay. Uh, yeah. You are in the cellar below the tower where you fought the dark mantle. I'll, I'll I'll relay that in case I haven't been able to at some point already and say that I don't think that this is worth the time right now. So we need to go back to the other side again. I believe so, and take cool. the well. And, it, there look, was look, 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 one look, look, look. small section that we didn't actually check, just one outturn we never went through, Frank, if you recall. Mm -hmm. We were hoping to check that out first and then continue exploring everything else. Yeah. That's when the gargoyles hit. The gargoyles. And that's below, below, below where the gargoyles were. There were gargoyles? When, when we first it's arrived. It's been a while. Uh, when we first arrived, we were assaulted <laughs> by gargoyles. I tried to chop their wings off. The face spiders were all dead in a circle of fire. Then a gargoyle came in as zombies came out of the tower that leads down into where you are currently at. Uh, right. From there, you separated into three different directions. All three of those directions have been scouted out. I think the area you're referring to is where the fuck is the second story? And you moved out through the courtyard to try and see it, surmising that maybe the tower in the back would lead to the second story. Which which would have been the residence area. All right, so we have basically, just to, just to make sure, we have basically, we've gone through everything down here that we could possibly go through. No other little turns or twists or whatever. You Other never than, went to the two outer towers. I, I was going to say without backtracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you've got everything covered. You found two caved in tunnels. Uh, you found the buried zombies. You found the dark mantle cellar that's blocked by rubble. The and, that's it. and then we went as far as here, but then the two outer towers Correct. are the right. only places we haven't been. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So we go in that way then. So yes, let, let's 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 meet up. Let's regroup back at the stairs where we came down here at. Okay. Okay. And, and go from there. So you guys uh, go north. You hang a right. You are in the uh, cellar of the tower. Uh, if you continue forward a little bit, that will be where Manise's guardian was. You can go upstairs or you can go back to the skeletal cellar dungeon jail cell area. So you can go up or backtrack. Those are your choices. We yeah. want to backtrack to the towers underground, okay. right? Correct. Yeah, I want to I finish okay. checking out everything under here first. High tower, low tower. Let's do low tower first. Yeah. Uh, you go through the skeleton jail cell area. You come to the small antechamber that goes north where the beholder zombie was. You continue on a short distance, maybe 60 to 80 feet. Uh, you come to a small antechamber with stairs going up and a trap door leading up. No other doors in here, just the trap door. Correct. And we checked out these towers previously when we were topside or no? Not these You towers. did not. This, this was too far to the perimeter of the corners. You guys found the Great Hall and went north in lieu of investigating the towers. Towers, okay. Let's um, go. want to go up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't checked it. Do we? Move? Who's first to go up? You. Uh, Give me a strength check. <laughs> oh, also, 
That's also, good. give me a perception check. Oh, I wish that was my perception check instead. Oh, no. Uh, so the strength to do that, um, just strength, right? Mm -hmm. 21. Mm -hmm. The perception is 12. Uh, 12 is enough as you uh, prepare yourself to go ahead and shoulder open the door. You notice liquid. Blood. <gasps> I have AIDS. I have AIDS. You have no AIDS. <laughs> yes, yes. We, Not we to be confused with roll AIDS. <laughs> you have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full blown AIDS. You need three more people to do that. I really do. I am so sad that I don't have a. Well, I was going to say, if I, I, I was getting ready to do the the high harmony, but it, you know. <laughs> and, a, and a small harmonica so that we can all tune up. Uh, you shoulder it open. You hear a thump uh, as the noble body, a deceased noble body, is thrown over to one side. You look around. There are a total of three dead noble bodies. No armor. No weapons. Nothing of value. Uh, you also see a door to your left, and you see a stairwell uh, leading to a trap door on the ceiling. Most likely the parapet. Small guard tower, so the door probably leads outside. Mm -hmm. Let's run up real quick. Yeah. Up or out? Up. Uh up, you have a beautiful view of the southeastern tower. Uh, as you get up there, you hear a loud creak. I don't, I don't go up. I stay downstairs to watch the door. This is a small tower. You are covered in dust as the loud creak catches Dewey's attention as he realizes that the wooden roof slash floor here is not in the best of shape. Gnome. Gnome. 60 years abandoned. <laughs> no. <laughs> Carrying a heavy axe. That's right. The axe is cursed. It adds... 300 pounds to your weight. <laughs> Acts of encumbrance. Uh, yes, even your gnome body uh, causes it to creak and dust. You aren't fat enough to break it yet, uh, but you know what? Uh, Taryn or Lucas, you can have them come on up and take a look around. Yeah, I will call them. Don't come up here. It might collapse. Yeah, you can, you can feel it kind of give, too. Do you see anything up there? You know, like a lover's asshole, just right before you're successfully penetrating them. <laughs> Let's see. So you arrive during the day. You've taken one long rest and a couple short rests. Yeah. Oh I'll say God. it's evening of day two. A beautiful sunset. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not up there. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we all go back down into the basement or leave the tower now dewey as you look around you are a fighter you've been to forts before as you check your six you'll notice that that door mm -hmm. uh leads out along the parapet the raised yeah. parapet and then you have the stairs leading down into the courtyard and over there is the great hall the parapet will also uh bisect the into the other tower for, for your archers sure so do we want to use that to go from one to the other? Hypothetically, we could. How how good of repair does it look in, Dewey? <clears throat> stone. It's stone. The parapet is stone. I just suggest yeah, we get out of the tower as quickly stone, as possible. Stone, stone cavens in the tunnels below us. Uh, Dewey, <laughs> give, me a, give me a D20 straight up. D20 straight up. A 13. Okay. Yeah, it does not smash under your weight. Looks good. So you well, go back down to the main floor where everybody is. Mm -hmm. Tell them, hey, there's a beautiful sunset up there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go up there and check it out. I'll be uh, leaving the tower. Oh, Lucas, wait. turn into a bear and go up top. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm already there, which is why I'm still down in the basement. Okay, so you got everybody on three different levels or two different levels now. All right, so we're not going to take the parapet outside. I didn't know that anyone other than Dewey had gone up yet. Yeah. Uh, Perpetua was in the middle. Uh, I, I, was gonna... I, just, I just didn't want to go all the way up once I saw the size of the, t of the tower. I didn't, it would be too crowded. It was unnecessary. Perpetua doesn't go all the way. Oh, I do. But well, that's not how it sounds. But, but, but unfortunately, I'm unequipped. 
Nice. Uh, so what do you want to do, Dewey? You want to tell everybody to get their ass up here or you want to go down into the cellar and take Let's a long way around? Let's attack on two fronts. Half of everybody goes through the basement. The other half goes to... No, uh, uh, yeah, pick one. I don't care, guys. The full length of the other one in the basement yet. That wouldn't be wise. Well, there is no direct route from here to the I, other well, one. Well, no, but we would, we would go, we would cut across the... the connection and then we would have to go down an unscouted path to get to the other tower correct which may have other breaks and bends i right. know where one tower to the other is if we go the other way there might be a break off that leads us north and around a are you hiding the little smile behind your face frank ah oh, that's not nope. smile. just think of i'm not saying that i think it's a very very good idea to switch <laughs> Yeah, so he's good. We're good. We're good. But that that way, versus all underground because underground is not yet explored. Odd even. Underground it is. All right. <laughs> so you go back to the antechamber where it bisects. You go up. You look to the right. You see the uh, very nice door that holds the dead corpse of the ice stalkless uh, beholder. You go up to the top of it where the hallway. Uh, bisects at an angle where you see three dead gas spores uh, and no gas spores alive because of the poison in the fire. You can go left, which you surmise leads you back to the skeletal prison, or to the right where you have not yet explored. Not to the yet right. Explored. To the right. You go another 60, 80 feet, just like below, uh, and come to a small antechamber, uh, and there are there is a set of stairs leading up. Exact, exact same room layout. Exact same actions. Mm -hmm. Except maybe not putting the blood in my mouth this time. Uh, uh, go ahead and give me perception. Uh, five. You, uh, know, you notice nothing unusual. Give me your enough. strength check. I, I prick my finger and put it in Dewey's mouth. Oh, uh, <laughs> Laura! Uh, 19 this time. Throw open the door, knock it off its hinges. It skitters across the floor. You pop your head up, and this room is just filled with cobwebs. Not like giant killer spiders, but like tiny spiders. Uh, you notice that a strand that leads to the door south has been broken, i.e. someone has been in this room. There's some scuffling on the wood flooring. Uh, but no signs of dead bodies, no signs of loot, no signs of shit here. Uh, also, I take off my axe of encumbrance and I hand that over to Taryn, and then I go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's not attuned to it. <laughs> well, and then I run up the stairs real quick. Uh, you get up to the top of the stairs throw open the trap door there. Uh, you see a few broken arrow shafts. Uh, and again, 60 years of uh, lack of upkeep has cost it. Go ahead and straight up D20 roll. Uh, 14. Uh, your gnome body weight is not enough to shatter the uh, pine boards here. Uh, again, Look, guys, you missed the sunset. It's gone now. Yes, uh, you can see a river, the river that you had to cross also branches off here and runs behind the keep. So the keep sits at the edge of the river. Right. I am wondering to myself, is it like, would they have sewers that would drain into the river for convenience and could we get in the back way to potentially get to the north side that has been caved off is my thoughts insight uh can i use an intelligence insight just use my intelligence plus my proficiency in insight which is bupkis anyway but yeah go ahead yeah i mean one white are you history would be better but uh that is going to be a 17. Your knowledge of how forts are made yeah, would... I would call that engineering. I would say that was a, for once, I'm going to say that was a fair rule on Frank's part. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. 
I, I, you would know that uh, fortresses would not have sewers in them because they would not want sappers to go ahead and break the outer curtain wall. They would most likely have Joy Johns uh, supplied by uh, Pete's Joy Johns of Newark, New Jersey. Uh, no, it's, it's Le Garçon du Piss. Oh, that's true. <laughs> or, and his brother, Chef de Poop. Uh, so no, there would not be any sewers here, uh, especially older fortresses, because you wouldn't want sappers to gain entry and do a whole uh, two towers thing and blow shit up. Sure. boy. So yeah, you, you do not believe, nor do you see any rivlets of air pockets leading you to believe that there were sewer pipes underneath bubbling up. Well, they would have what open open sewers, oh, open but that's about it. Like above ground open sewers. Okay. Right. <clears throat> you can go dig it if you want. I'm sure you'll find something. There's more undead down there. Have, have a go. Yeah. Um, but, no, but no, from this vantage point, uh, you. However, from this vantage point, Dewey, you can see behind that master wall of the Great Hall, the second floor of that section of building has caved in upon itself. So what Manise had seen earlier. Manise had seen, yes, Manise would have seen that damage as he did his initial flyover. Okay. So while while everybody's down in the courtyard, they can see the wall and surmise, well, that looks to be about two stories worth of shit. Uh, behind that wall, rubble. So do we have any one might surmise there isn't anything to explore unless you dig through rubble. There, correct. There is still one more tower. Oh, God. Let's go. The two towers in front where you came right. in, the tower where you made your way into the dungeon. The I apologize, Carrie. I am so sorry. I clicked a little early. I, I pre clicked, as it were. <laughs> so we've discovered here. this one. This one, this one, this one, and these two. Oh, no. Correct. Did uh, we get this one? You have not gotten that one. Okay. Strangely enough. Oh, I thought we had gone over here. You were going to. Uh, but then uh, you while you're at it, Dewey, what's the weather forecast? <laughs> well, you see, the rain's going to come in from the north side, uh, brushing over got the a, river. Got a high pressure right Whoa. here. Now, now, how, now, how about the black weather forecast? Yes. It's gonna rain! It's gonna rain! <laughs> that was racist, folks. <laughs> it's raining sideways. <laughs> hold okay. on, hold on. If I'm gonna be racist, you know, then well, I'm now leave, well leave that picture before have you the go to Hitler. Background. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> so no, no. no why, I, why do you have the necromancers that we're going to be dealing with up here? <laughs> so you were going to explore that area, but you guys got sidetracked. Sidetrack, and we ended up going down instead. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about racists. <laughs> yes, the yes. NRA is a racist? <laughs> I'm talking about the racist. other side here. <laughs> hey, you can't be racist if you're a minority, and I believe Orange is a minority. Folks, uh, a little disclaimer. Uh, we would welcome GOP members because those, those fuckers can imagine anything hey, real. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Everyone, we're forgetting we have Trump's biggest supporter here with us this evening. That's right, Chris. The Canadian. Chris is here. Hey, yeah. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have the Trump face mask. You guys, yeah. No, no, hold on. Watch. <laughs> anyway, go on. You'll see. Okay. Uh, so, yes, that is the only tower you guys have yet to explore. And do we take the dead guy down? <laughs> so, yes. He was trying to see how many people would be celebrating so they could find infiltrators. Read your, do your research. Uh, so that tower is the only spot you guys have not explored. All right. As the DM does this. Let's go. <laughs> As we're all gonna die now. Well, uh, let's go just uh, outside the tower and walk, you know, in the nice fresh air. Cool in the dark. Breeze. Yeah. Well, is it darker in the tunnels, Frank, or is it darker uh, in the night sky? We haven't been outside yet. It might be overcast. Uh, it is. Overcast. Yeah, no, it's raining, so it is overcast. There are some scars. You can see in the bottom there, the Aurora Bori 
Ori Bart. I, I loved him oh, in oh, that oh, one yeah. TV show. <laughs> In the southern hemisphere. Okay, so guys, what you don't know is this is actually the stripper uh, weatherman. So uh, <laughs> let me just get this going for you guys. And naked news producer, yeah. go ahead and cut the feed. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you guys want to walk across the courtyard, right? Just enjoy some nice weather, you know. Okay. I don't see. I don't see why not. Okay. And uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that handsome bastard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like his pirate. I'm sorry, am I too American to understand what that is? Uh, he, he he's about the government. About the government. Uh so okay, so you guys cross the courtyard all the way and you face off with the looming tower in the uh last quarter moonlight. Real nope. quick, is there any disturbance in this area not caused by us? <coughs> I'm just wondering if there was a second null man. Oh, no. Managed to get past. Okay. No, no, just All the right. dead face spiders that you guys were not well, well, you know, for. that first one, that first one uh, must have been from Degrassi. You know, you don't all have to help Kyle make sure that this fucking show lasts longer than two hours. <laughs> no, 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 I, want to, I want to know if there was a second. I want to know if there was a second infiltrator on, from Degrassi Knoll. You hear that? Billy Ray Cyrus? That, 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 that's what I hear when I tell a joke. <laughs> that looks like Billy Ray Cyrus. That's, that, that's Trudeau again. So you guys are in front of this <clears throat> looming tower. Says, talk moistly to me. Wow. <laughs> in the basement. Are we, are we done for the, the cellar door. No, we, I, I was kind of hoping to be done with Battle Keep tonight, but you no, guys we got are this. dragging Let's do anchors. This. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm more than ready to be done with Battle Keep. Let's go to the fucking third tower. We go to the tower. Bam. Okay. Inside the tower, it's the same as the circular tower before. There are stairs going up, there are stairs going down. Of course, there were no stairs going up in the middle one. Yes, there, that one, you can go up or you can go down. Or you can go uh, we have found, we to have the found side to this there. hallway or no? No, because you have to go up to see if. Oh. Yes. Uh, I hand Carol my axe of encumbrance and I climb up the tower. <laughs> There's stone, so there's no. Oh, okay. Well, I take the axe back then. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go up or you want to go down? I will go up first. If someone wants to check down, I don't mind. You want I'll, just, some... I'll, I'll pop down for just a quick assessment. Let's start messaging people. <laughs> uh, remember, if I check my messages, you're going to lose me. Remember. Uh, I have that risk, too, if you message me. Maybe we need a different system. To uh, Dewey, uh, you go ahead and go up to the top. Uh, there is a heavily damaged walkway that connects the two, and you can go over into that destroyed hallway. Uh, Perpetua, you go downstairs, and you see a strange glow. Nope. Fuck that shit. Back upstairs. Go check it out. I tell, so Luke, I tell Lucas about it. We'll start with Dewey. What do you want to do? You see a strange... Uh, I called down and mentioned that there is a uh, walkway out there, a little hallway. Uh, give me a deck save as a... Not a swarm, because they are not attacking, but a uh, group of bats goes flying by as you yell. A flock. Uh, 19. You manage to duck in enough time as they fly over your head and out into the open space. It's the whole Scooby Doo start. <laughs> uh, uh, Blake, you go or Perpetua, you go back up. Nice. <laughs> that that is perfect spacing there. Chris. That's so good, Chris. Um, so <laughs> Perpetua, you spot a strange glow downstairs. You come running back up. You tell Lucas, who is still in bear form. What color? Uh, purple. Okay. Best color I'm ever. Gonna, I'm not, not going to stuck around to get more detail than that, but I would have at least seen a color. Mm -hmm. 
I don't see color, Blake, but that's okay. <laughs> because you're not a racist asshole like I am, and fuck that's, you for that. Well, let, let's go ahead and mark this on the uh, screen so that we know that I'm not a racist asshole. Uh, Lucas, uh, in bear form, can you no, understand? No, 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 no. I said, I said yeah. like I am. You are in a completely that's different racist. manner. Oh, okay, that'll work. He's a class. That. I'm a human racist. Fuck people. <laughs> I can understand that, but I just can't speak in a okay. uh, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll hold the door open for him if he seems like he wants to go down. Do you want to go down on Perpetual? Really? Or do you want Perpetual to go down to top you? <laughs> in bear form? Uh, I, I've seen what that mouth can do. Perpetua for bears. <laughs> I think I was in that chat room a long time ago in AOL. Hard to say. AOL Kids was the internet for us young people. Uh, so, uh, Lucas, do you want to go downstairs or no? No. I'm going to sit down. Good right. call. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dewey, are you coming back down? Uh, Perpetually, are you going to clue him in on what you found? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to necessarily shout because I don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves if, in case I haven't already. What you got uh, there? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, shout. Put your hands up and shout. Oh. Oh. Hey. hey, hey, hey. The, the, yeah. clap, the clapping would have got me yeah, out. Okay, sorry. I just, I thought, I thought we were doing I was going to do the alligator, but then you couldn't see me. Uh, okay, okay. So the only hey. thing missing here is the arrow that says big bad yeah. Yeah. downstairs. I go yeah. charging that direction. Fair enough. Anybody want to follow? I'll hold open the door. As you charge, no, no, give me I, a dex I, check. I, I will. I will follow behind them. So what, yeah, what's Minis and Taryn doing? What? What's Minis and Taryn doing? Standing there. No. Oh, I think I'm so just oh, Spinning the wheel. <laughs> so wait, what's, Actually, what's your? Okay, you're fine. It's it, it's it's just a reminder that you were technically neutered. Who is second going down behind him? Perpetua. Who's third? Fourth? No. <clears throat> All right, and I'm last. Okay. Uh, as you get down to the lower deck, there is a short hallway leading north, uh, and that is where the purple glow is coming from. Purple go glow. That direction. Okay. Uh, as you go through no, this archway, the, the tunnel wall is made of skulls okay the purple glow comes from some weird kind of brazier that sits behind a stone throne with a skeletal figure slumped over gonna be slumped to grab the purple brazier my knees that's yeah. for you this this throne room is in a a 20 by 20 square once you get through the tunnel Filled with human or skulls human of various kinds. Ish, yeah. Do we be smashing the skulls as we go by? Just in case. Dewey's up first, so it's up to him. Oh, I'm just gonna stop everyone from entering the scary room real quick. Are you going into the tunnel? Oh yeah. Oh well. I, I have oh, the tunnel of skulls, right? Correct. I would like to wait until someone would like to cast detect magic and I will look for traps, you know, in case those darts come shooting out of the skull's mouths or eyes. Who's detecting magic? I, I, I have that ready. That's a good idea. I can do it if you want, Blake. What's the range? Okay, no, no. If you need, well, no, you save, save yours for healing. What, I, what, I, what's I, the range? Uh, I believe 30 feet. 30 feet, uh, right. 30, 30 feet cast on myself. Uh, probably yeah. be within range, maybe. Well, but and, and it's going to follow me. Right. But behind Dewey right now, you you might be I, within I, range. I'm the, I'm the one right behind him. Right. Uh, as so I 20 go. Foot, 20 foot long hmm. tunnel, 20 by 20 foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm only trying to ascertain if any of the skulls are. are oh, the, the tunnel? No, there's no magic on the skulls. Uh, Dewey, go ahead. What's your uh, check for traps? Uh, then it's going to be a 23. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's trapped. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. But not magic. Can I discern what not kind magic. of trap it is? Probably Pressure a plate. 
Probably pressure plate and darts. Pressure plates and darts. Do I see pressure plates as I go along? Is it cobblestone? I will say, hang on. Sand. I, I will I will brave this. I and I will I'll I'll eat all the damage I have resistance to poison at the moment. You know Dewey is the rogue, right? Well, okay, yeah. I, I guess I guess go ahead. If you want to give it a try, but I, I'm more than happy to, to suffer in silence. Yeah, I will. I don't have a list of items or anything like that, so we'll say as I'm continuing forward, as I'm finding good places to step as opposed to bad, I'm moving the sand out of the way and be like, okay, this is where you step here because there's the big divot. Okay. 20 rolls. Okay. For detect traps. Oh my god. And I, I don't give a shit about the ones you pass. Just tell me which ones you fail. Uh, 12 is your magic number. Okay. Perpetua, give me a perception check. Because I'm trying to hit him. What? Uh, that's a net 20. Yes. You're, you're triggering the trap? Yes. If, if, if it seems like yes. he's having difficulty with it, I want to yes. take, I want to step in and absorb it. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Five is a fail. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they aren't going to be poisoned. Okay. Uh, the well, poison will, the poison's will, long worn off. And I will probably only do that to the first one. Okay. <laughs> Four hit points. Okay. Piercing, if it makes a difference. No, it doesn't. Shit. You know, it's kind of hard to roll a d20 20 times. Okay, I roll one, two, three, four, five... When I failed. Uh, Perpetua, your perception okay. shows the skeleton's just slumped Nine, over. Two, hey, um, as, as we're get, getting down the hall, is there anything six, on or around it that seven, is... Eight, find eight, it. Eight, nine, Dewey. ten, eleven, find twelve. It. Hey, Dewey! That's that's where my Superman vision's uh, coming off at. One. Behind, behind the throne or behind two, it? Throne. Okay. Three. Do, uh, does natural 20s give me anything special or no? No. No. I failed three more times on top of that. So hey, a total of hey. six times. Hey, Dewey. Six yeah. times. Do you want to fail one last time? Because I think inspiration will help your skill checks. That is true. It would. All right. I give you, you get a point of inspiration for one of those. It's a D8. So just five? So just five. And I eat I, 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 one of them. Right. That's five after the one you ate. No, no, it, it was six total, right, Kyle? Seven mm. damage. Okay, whatever. Seven damage to myself. Yep. All right. Uh, you reach the entry point to this purple and, haze room. And, and at that point, before he has a chance to progress, I will inform him of what I see behind the throne and kind of try and convey that to the others behind us. The room itself is made of two different uh composite one is bricks along the bottom the I, I top half is made of bones long bones like femurs uh and things of that nature i get the i get the school of magic too i'm assuming necromancy on the magic yeah no no what what is it then An artifact it's artifact okay this is where the orb is at. Pure magic, baby. Okay. Pure magic. Okay, so my, deducing that from our surroundings, I would say that is probably what we're looking for. It's a scary place. I mean, well, I, I know, but I'm like, it's not, it's not like it's a it's not a, it's not a necromantic anim, animated because I would see any necromancy as well. Okay. Yeah, no, there, there's just the one item in here. Uh, everybody, everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. We are not in combat yet, but let's just get it out of the way. Hello. Yeah. Thirty twenty. Sixteen. Twelve. One. Oh, well, there you two. are, Lucas. I shouldn't have rolled that fucking white die. <laughs> <laughs> True class initiative. One, eight, 18. 18, very good. Uh, you're third. Uh, okay, 
Uh, Dewey. Did the big bad get ahead of me? What? Did the big bad get ahead of? What big bad? There's no big bad. No. I, I was going to say all I all I can made is that I'm able to. There. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Dewey is at the entrance to the room. He has not walked into the room yet. Right. Uh, Perpetua has whispered in his ear. I think what we're looking for is behind the throne. Oh, third to enter, not third in initiative. Got it. So, uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Check the room for a quick scan of traps before actually stepping into it. Go ahead. And and I'll and I'll also convey that that's I don't think anything else magical here, so it should otherwise be safe except for physical. Hiding. Or for what you can reach, uh, you don't feel anything. For what you can see, you do not see anything. Yeah. Aside from this old stone throne, the dead guy on it. Uh, and, and this room is what twenty five feet. Uh, 20 by 20. 20 by 20. So from the entryway, I can, my 30 foot radius picks up the entire room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a brazier behind the stone throne and it's emanating a purple light. You do not feel any heat. You do not feel any venting. You do not that smell is, anything. That, that's not triggering me. That's not magic. It, I suppose that would be magic, but it's behind the throne. So everything behind the throne is magic. Okay, so I could just be getting a false read off of the brazier. You can, but we already know that I've said that the artifact's here. Right, right. But, uh, but it <laughs> might be in the brazier. Right. That's what I was just thinking. So, Dewey, you, you've blocked the tunnel. You're first. <laughs> so you've looked around. You do not see anything. The floor is made of sand, just like the tunnel. Uh, and this room appears to be some kind of sepulcher or chapel. I can also sense through earth up to a foot. That's fine. So I, I'm here to tell you, there's only one thing here. This no, is I, not a I, not a treasure trove. No, I, I know, but I'm saying if there are animated undead coming from the ground, I would get at least a fair fair split second warning. That's uh, fair. What do you want to do, Dewey? I'm going to move in and I will uh, approach the skeleton and with all the undead. I'm going to assume that it'll eventually come to life, so I want to be ready to swing at it immediately. That's it fair. Doesn't, it, it, it doesn't seem to be under any necromantic in, in persuasion at the moment. Is, 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 uh, like a, is something that I would have conveyed to him. Yeah. I'm still going to approach that and I'll keep an eye on this one if you guys check out the rest of the room. I'm I'm going to just focus on taking in as much of my surroundings and looking for any change in the environment as possible. Dewey's walked in. Perpetua, you're I, second. I, I, will, I will have essentially walked to the center of the room. The center of the room is where the throne is. Okay. So you're going to walk next okay. to Dewey. Then I will be at the foot of the throne then. Well, I would have checked behind it. If it's, so you're if going it's, behind it. We're doing what? We're doing one action here because otherwise it's going to get confused. Okay, I thought it was against a wall. Like I, I like I didn't realize it was in the dead. The I, throne is in the center of the room. I will go. The brazier will, is behind the throne. I will go to the far side of it. I won't go behind it. Left or right? Far the throne is in the center of the oh, room. So it's it's facing the entrance. The throne, yes. Okay. Uh, whichever way Dewey doesn't go. Dewey's right in front of it. Okay. Uh, then I will go. I don't know why I'm feeling like going to, from my direction facing it, my left, it's right. Okay. Lucas, third one in. Uh, do I have to worry about the traps on the floor in this hallway? Uh, no. Uh, Perpetua and Dewey have already eaten the damage. Yeah, yeah. As, long, as long as you they, follow They don't the, recharge. As, well, no, the ones that he marked, he didn't really disarm them. He just marked what was safe and not safe, right? Right. So there's 13 armed traps ready to go unless you know exactly where to step. He's saying as a bear, does he have to worry a little bit more about where he steps? Right. Uh, are you, do you have animal intelligence or your own intelligence? My own intelligence. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I, I, I assume guys. Dewey is saying, don't step here. Funk, 
ouch, don't step here, don't step here, correct? I'm saying step here, step here, step so here. So you guys have all been told this is where you need to step. He has eaten the damage. He and uh, Perpetua have eaten the damage from the darts. They do not recharge. Cool. Well, then I'm going to enter the room. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go to the right of the throne on the other side. Uh, Taryn, you're bringing up the rear, correct? Yes. Manise, what do you want to do? Unmute. Yeah. I will um, follow along. Uh, try to maybe get in front of Taryn, though. Oh, you're in front of Taryn. She's last. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just follow along. You enter the room. Do you just want to stand at the entrance or move somewhere? Uh, move a little inside, maybe off to one of the sides a little bit. Left or right? Uh, Blake went left. Uh, Lucas went right. Dewey is right. dead center. You'll go. I'll, go. I'll go to the right with Lucas. Okay. Taryn, last one in. I'm going to go in and I go. And even I look even at if the it person. doesn't turn out that she was a traitor the whole time, she pulls the switch, seals us in here. End of campaign. Have a good night, guys. Woo! Yeah. I will like to admit the DM did make it last a minute longer than two hours, so. <laughs> Fuck uh, you. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not a traitor. The artifact is gift wrapped in a box, says four adventurers only. Taryn, where are you going? So. My thought is this, do you think if you go, someone goes and messes with it, will trigger the skeleton? Well, so I, I, my, my suspicion is that there is this source of energy that I'm seeing, the source of magical energy, yeah. is going to diffuse upon doing something that we ought not to do. So I'm go I I'd like us all to kind of Group to group to defensible positions before we figure out how to proceed. Um, I, I have Perpetua on the left. I have Lucas on the right. I have Meniz behind Lucas. I have Dewey in front of the throne, dead center. I would I didn't so, know where you're at. So, I mean, it said I was thinking either I could trigger the trap or I'll hide behind Meniz. I mean, you're in the back. Fuck it, okay. I'm bored. I throw the skeleton off of the throne and sit on it. It's not your turn. No, I will. No, I'll just. I'll go there and, and it said I wait for basically instructions on what to do or if this thing activates. So you're going behind the throne next to the brazier. If I see her doing that, I'm going to advise her against it. Well, no, I'm not going to do anything unless you guys want. I, I would. I would prefer you come over here with me. With you? Oh, I was going to. That go puts two on the left, two on the right, one in the center. Okay, that's fair. That sounds good, actually. Sure, I'll do that. I was thinking of actually hanging out with the other two, but I'll go. I'll go stand with uh, Perpetua so that we put up people. Yeah, the, the, this it's, it's equal <laughs> what if we, and, and, and everybody then, perception check. So what if we smash the skeleton before we fuck with the uh, four animates? Twenty three. Twenty seven. Nice, nice. Not you guys are way above me. I'm a thirteen. Manis, what's yours? Uh, what check again, sir? Perception. Perception. Uh, that'll be 21. Uh, wow. Everybody notices that the purple light flickers except for Dewey, who's staring into it. Blake, your necromancy goes ape shit off the charts along every wall with bones, in the brazier, on the throne, and underground. Okay. Now we will go with the initiative. I, yeah, I, I don't have time to convey that, but I'm trying to. As the white, uh, as I, the I, white, will, I, I will, I will shout to my knees, get ready to turn, get ready to turn on dead. As the light flickers, Dewey, you notice pinprick red in the eye sockets of this thing. Everybody, DC twelve versus intelligence. Oh God! Here we go. Is this a magic thingy? Well, I failed. I think it's probably it's not a spell. I, I it is the innate ability of this creature, which is not mine. Fuck. It's from the fiend folio and okay. uh, oh. and five e. So who failed? That's an eight. Pass. Pass. 
But so, she's... so three passes, two fails, correct? I think right? Maniz, Maniz and Taryn failed, correct? I think so. Yeah, I got a five. Maniz and Taryn, D8, please. Oh, God. You're going to three. What kind of effect is this, by the way? You'll know in know. just a moment. Because there is, I do get advantage against yeah, you the have advantage health. against being charmed. And if that, if that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be a charm. I, I, rolled, shit, I rolled a five. Okay, uh, Maniz, you are on the overhang where Dewey was investigating the second floor. Just bam. Teleported out. Teleported out. Taryn, you are in the middle of the phase spider fire thing. Man, that's lucky. Man, we should have all failed. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're by our entrance. You, you're by the entrance. So, we from. so next is the dirty 20. Oh my gosh, Dewey. Many, get back. Uh, something's activated and shit's going down. So you are up. That's the only thing I am doing this round. Uh, rage, reckless attack, smash the skeleton to smithereens. Okay. Right. Oh, wow, that was a natural one. And a 17 plus whatever. <laughs> so, reckless attack for the win, guys. Come on. Oh, oh my there. God. Oh, no one. There was no, no one. one. There's no one, so he's throwing that axe. No, 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 no. Reckless attack. Mm -hmm. It was a natural one and a 17. Oh, okay. I I take the you. higher. I I, okay, I gotcha. I'm sorry. I, I thought that was your first attack and then your the second attack. No, no, gotcha. No, no. Okay. No. So a natural 17 and a natural 19 on the die. Both hit. Okay. And that will do uh, 11 slashing, 8 slashing, 19, and then 8. Now, hang, hang on a second. This is the axe that you picked up, correct? Correct. Is this your own? This is the axe I picked up. Gotcha. Okay, go ahead. This will be bad. Okay. <laughs> So, what's the damage again? I'm sorry. 19 slashing damage. Got it. We have eight radiant damage. Got it. And then four necrotic damage. Got mm -hmm. it. Uh, next up is the 18. That is Lucas. Cool. Uh, so, I don't see any enemies yet? Uh, you would not have noticed anything other than the flicker. And you would have seen him attack the skeleton. Yeah. He, he attacked so, the guy in the throne. The guy in the throne never moved. So I'm just bored here, and I want to see what's going on, so I, I knocked over the brazier. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I was, I, was going to, I was going to help you with that on my turn anyways. Uh, 16, uh, Perpetua. So if it's not successfully knocked over, I do help him with that. Give me a strength check, Lucas. Oh, strength check in my cave bear farm? Sure. Yep. That is a 23. He doesn't need any assistant. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, you guys can all see, correct? Maniz is the only one that doesn't have dark vision. Well, how, how, per, how bright is the purple? It's just faint now that he's scattered the magical stones around. Okay. Oh, there's magical stones. So now, now that the brazier is knocked over, what, what, what do I see scattered before me on my turn? Uh, the stones, the overturned brazier, um, and D12 against me. One. Two. Um, the stones are magic. The brazier's magic. Uh, and then there's another item there that is radiating your faint blue basically magic. underneath the overturned brazier mm -hmm. i i want to try and determine that and i potentially collect it so it, it'll take you around to get over there and start scooping shit up so yeah, that's fair ah yeah, uh, let's see for my knees and for Taryn. Yeah, that's about right. Uh -uh. You all die. Uh, 
Taryn, I went out of order. So you are up. You are in the middle of the face spider pit. What do you want to do? Uh, get out and get back to my friends. Oh, Round the corner the and head up towards the tower. Very good. Maniz with a one. Um, I'm where outside? You're outside on the overhang on the second floor of the tower. Oh, God. In the dark. Well, I'm outside. I got moonlight. Is there moon? No. Uh, uh, overcast. Final, it's final rain quarter is and overcast. There is, that is you no can movement. tell you are on a precipice. Oh, I, you I do not movement. know where because you didn't go up there. Did I hear final quarter? Yeah, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll just stay put and try to uh, be, kind be, of be, see what, no, figure things find, out. Find, find high ground. There be, where, there be where boars afoot. So, uh, top of the order. Uh, Dewey, I'll go after you. Maniz, just fly after you. We'll meet you there. Uh, continuing the process of smashing the skeleton into tiny little bits. No, I had the 23, dude. <laughs> you, you said I would go after you. I'm, I'm up first. Top of the order. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. And sorry. That's, a, that's a nat 20. So 27. Uh. That'll hit. <laughs> uh, for 14 hit points of damage as it slashes through. Uh, now so, you're up. So, so explain what happened there. He just got slashed with the skeletal claw. Of okay, the okay. person sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now I recklessly attack. Did you? Yeah, you got a nat I, 20. I it ain't getting better than to, that. Yeah. Okay. And that is a natural 20 and a 20 to hit. Okay. Okay. Both, both hit. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out why this thing is a challenge so high. We'll Probably because it teleports you away someplace. Well, it did take uh, 40%. Okay. And we, well, we if it is a skeleton, it also it has a lot of resistance. Oh, it's got a shitload of resistance and immunities. Yeah, that's probably a lot of it right there. Yeah, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven immunities. Holy 18 shit. damage. 18 slashing. Got it. Uh, and then we have 13 Radiant. Okay. Two Necrotic. Okay. And then for the second attack is uh, 14 Slashing, two Necrotic. Okay. Uh, 18. Taryn, you're still running back. Oh my uh, God. How is this going to be? Just so out here. 13 rounds. This is going to be over. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Perpetual, yeah, you're us. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's right. 818. Go ahead. I do move 70 feet per round. Okay. This is an FYI with the both actions. Yeah, yeah. She's just sure. dashing. Go ahead, Lucas. Did I notice this skeleton thing attacking you yet? Oh, yeah. He probably would have howled in pain. <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> Like uh, a Labrera yeah. bitch. Well, then I'm going to attack this fucker. Uh, that's a nat 20 and an 18 to hit. Both hit. Nice. So how are we doing nat 20s? Uh, you reroll the Double damage the dice. device and then you add any modifiers. So if you get like 2d6 plus 3, you'd roll 4d6 plus 3. Okay. The, 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 the way it's written. Okay, so then that would be 2d8 plus 8 for that attack. Uh, so that's 16 magic piercing for the first one. Okay. And then does an 18 hit? Mm -hmm. All right. So that is 17 magic slashing. And just point of order, why are your attacks magic? Because I have wild shape. Gotcha. And I am higher than level six. Gotcha. Perpetual, you're up. Uh, have I located what I was looking for? Yes. Uh, what does it appear to be? An orb. Uh, of a 
approximate size. Baseball. Uh, doesn't seem to be negatively influencing me in any way to come in contact with it. Like I'm not, it's, it's not a hot to the touch. I can safely grab it. Yeah. There, you, you feel no heat from the purple stone. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not getting shocked or anything. It's not like eating away at my hand as I touch it. Okay. No, I, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. I, I, right. I'm, no, no, that, that's a fair question. Uh, I, there, there are no adverse effects if you pick it up. Well, like this time, at this time that I'm aware of. <laughs> shared with you the contents of the book, so you know that we're looking for that that rod of catching in three parts. I month. know, but I can't be certain that this is that this isn't a decoy. Okay. So you you pick up that, or you picking up the stones, or just just. I'm, the... I'm 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 collecting a few stones, but and and how, how what size is this brazier? Uh, it's about five feet tall, made of copper. Oh, the whole thing, it's, there's not like the bowl itself isn't separate. It, it's, it's a bowl on a stand. But, but, it's, but it's like welded to the stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I thought it was a bowl that was placed in a holder. And you'll notice that the purple stones are starting to dim. Okay. Uh, so it was probably there being in contact with the brazier itself that was providing the source of their magical energy is what I'm going to deduce from that. This thing itself is probably worth some money if we want to come back for it later, but right now I'm not concerned with that. Uh, I secret the orb on my person. Uh, Benoit balls, Benoit balls. Um, Magic eight ball. No, no, no ben, Benoit balls. I shove it up my pussy. Baseball size? Yeah, baseball <laughs> size. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a shape changer. I'm a shape changer. Um, uh, I, I will say that that will take most of my action, and then I would like to. It, it'll take all. It'll take all like, of your action like to get. My movement, if you, possible. Your movement is getting around fat ass bear, getting to where the stones fell and grabbing the stones. I thought that my movement last turn was getting there. Because mm -mm, he was because, up against it. Right, and I didn't move last time. So the stone or, fell in his direction. Because I, I knocked it over. I, I had movement last round that I didn't get to use, is what I'm saying. Right, that was last round. Right, so I would have moved that to get to where I was going to be rummaging through shit. Yeah, th this is going to be your only action for this round is collecting. Yeah, I, I don't have any action, but I want to. I want to use any movement that I might have to possibly get back to assist in this. For next round, yeah, sure, that's no problem. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's my goal. Manise, uh, eh, you know, it's raining. <laughs> You can step back into some kind of chamber. Yeah, I'll go, like, I assume there's, what, like a, a room right in right there? Right there, and there's stairs going down. I'll just step out of the weather into the room okay. and stay there. Give me an audio perception check. <clears throat> the hell is that? Oh, just a perception just check. Just a perception <laughs> check, but it's for audio. The baseball is swelling me up so much. Uh, that'll be 11. I don't think you're going to hear shit going on. Uh, top of the order. Uh, all three of you, DC 12 versus intelligence. Oh, God. <laughs> Pain in the ass. The three, of, the three of us in the room? Yeah. Okay. Everybody fail, and then we'll just all come back together. Uh, 14. Together. Uh, that's it. Uh, Dewey, you're up. <laughs> Uh, 17 on the die. Hit. Ooh. Does a 13 hit? Uh, 13 does not hit. All right. Eight slashing, five radiant, two necrotic. It's fun because all the die are two, two, two. Nice. Uh, is that it or you got another attack in you? Uh, the other one missed. Okay. Uh, Lucas. All right. Do my attacks against this fucker. And I got an 18 and a 17. Both hit. Both hit. All right. First attack is going to be 12 magic piercing. Okay. Second attack is going to be 17 magic slashing. Okay. Hang on a second. Now I got to start to do math because you're coming close. Uh, 
Okay, uh, Perpetua, you're up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Taryn, you're still hauling balls. Perpetua, you're up. In Whitewood, while I was at the, ser at the service impersonating one of the villagers, I acquired four vials of holy water. I'm going to lob one of those at this thing. Okay, go ahead and hit it. Uh, is that an, imp uh, an improvised weapon attack? What is that? Yeah, disadvantage. Is it? Okay. But with my dex modifier? Because mm -hmm. okay. you're throwing it. Okay. Uh, nine and an 11 plus... My dex mod is what's uh, four, four. So it's a fifth. The low one is a fifteen. Uh, one of them hits. Well, I only throw one. You said it was a disadvantage. Correct. Fifteen hits. Okay, so fifteen does hit. So that's two d six radiant, <coughs> uh, which is nine. Uh, uh that it. Oh, that feels so ineffectual. Um, uh, no, I will quicken a third level magic missile. Mm, you've already done an attack. You need a cantrip. It makes it bonus. Quick, no. quickening, quickening it turns it into a bonus action automatically by nature of the of the quickening thing. Right. That, that's that's how that's how that's how sorcerers are able to do that, whereas most people can't. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so uh, that's going to burn up the last of my sorcery points, but I have plenty of spell slots, so I'll convert some next round. Uh, and that's going to be. Do, 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 do. Uh, five D four plus five. Okay. Uh, 15, 16, 19 force damage. Last round. Um, Fuck it. Uh, I'm clawing you, Dewey. All right. No Are you advantage. Double threes. Put me out of my misery. All right. Uh, unless uh, 10 hits you. Uh, well, actually, under special circumstances, a skeletal claw 10 does hit. Oh, okay. Well, then I did get you. Uh, eight plus six, 14. All right. Let me type that in. Type, type, type. Okay, it's a seven. <laughs> um, does um, a 17 hit that we decide? Yep, 14 is what you need to hit this thing. Okay. I got them on both then. And, wow, that's shit. Does it do more than five? Uh, yes. Uh, what's the makeup of the damage? Uh, it's a mix of radiant, um, slashing, and necrotic. How much was the slashing? The necrotic's not working against this thing at all. Uh, slashing was 12. Dead. Okay. Yep. Uh, Taryn comes running in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Taryn comes running in. After uh, Lucas is done. After a good solid minute still. Yeah, it's still like a minute. I, I, uh, what what, what would you guys throw. like to do? <laughs> Friggin' 13 rounds. Did you think I was going to be in this fight at all? Uh, that was before I knew you were going 70. So it was seven, so it was seven turns. Yeah, I go, I go 35 feet is my move. And I will do both actions to do it. Right. And that, that's fine. That shrinks the time entirely. Uh, yeah. You have defeated whatever the fuck this thing is. Uh, Blake, do you want to tell them what you have? Or I want to convince everyone that, that the orb was actually contained within the brazier and that it was shattered when Lucas knocked it over. 
Except didn't I see it since I was the one who knocked over the brazier? You break a lot of things, Lucas. You in know, fact, you it's your you, fault that the evil's been unleashed. You didn't, stand, you, didn't stick, you didn't stick around. I had to go digging through the stuff and knocked over yeah. to find it out. What happened? Did I I'm see saying it? That it was, I'm saying that it was fragile inside the brazier. You knocked it over and broke it. Except it was under the brazier. Yeah, but you had already helped Dewey by the time I figured that out. Okay, then I guess I guess this quest is over. You broke the thing that we needed to solve this. I, Blake, are you really acting like you're derailing the campaign? Me? No, no, no. I'm just trying to make you feel guilty for always breaking shit. <laughs> I know. I would seriously look at you and I say that. And I'm like, all right. Uh, Lucas, give me a perception check. I give I, Lucas I, a hug. You know? my, my it's all right. Is, my intention is to eventually come clean, but to have him consider his actions a little bit more thoroughly in the future. You were going to well, help him. You were going to help him. Frank? My perception was a 23. Uh, yeah, you, there's no broken items in there. Yeah. By the yeah, way, it's my because, that's because it disintegrated. Action. It was magical. <laughs> By the way, for, for SMGs, my incident check was a 22 on you. To know why not you're full of shit. Because I think you're full of shit because it's a magic item and it's probably not going to be broken just by being tipped over. No, no, I, no, I, I have it in my pussy. We're fine. And with that, we'll go ahead and call it because you didn't get to a point I thought you would. So let's uh, eject to <laughs> final thoughts. Uh, Chris, final thoughts. I didn't die. You did not Hell, die. I didn't even get hit. <laughs> <laughs> you just got teleported out into the rain yeah that's uh, fine a wet <laughs> bird is okay kyle final thoughts there it is it's background that's oh that's it thought. yeah no i'm good and i'm done that's a dumpster fire <laughs> blake final thoughts oh my pussy yeah, don't worry. I think the giant <laughs> cave bear is going to resolve that problem. Uh, Carol, final thoughts. Really, you know, you're get, if you teleport me so I'm seven rounds away from the fight, then I'm not going to get back in time. That, that, that is That's a topic a for, bummer, for okay? this show because I've had that issue happen before as well. Do something uh, exciting. Teleport me into like I don't know something I have to figure out a way out of. Hey, that's the only thing I can think of besides its immunities that puts it that, that challenge. I mean, maximum damage is d uh, attack plus seven, one d eight plus six, and that's I hit Kyle twice. Maxim. That's yeah, it. Yeah, the party of skeletons. To be fair, was a lot more frightening than that was. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was an easy oh. encounter. Yeah. Uh, Ernest, final thoughts. Uh. Yeah, the encounters were surprisingly very easy. I thought there was going to be a lot more enemies in this final battle. It, it had more of you fucked up your teleport, it would yeah. have been a lot tougher. Yeah, so. but I think even one of us could have taken this thing on. Dewey, Dewey does so much damage as a barbarian, and with that half, you know, the half damage thing when raging. Yeah, he, he can. But again, I, you guys yeah, should have blown through the skeletons the early. And the necrotic on that. They're not skeletons. Half and yeah, you lost the necrotic. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you know, as, long as, as long as there were two people there, someone to keep it distracted and someone to. Yeah, because it doesn't even have spells. So I got to say, it was a lot tougher. So what, what exactly was it? Crip thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, I always liked it in Fiendfolio. Folks, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Uh, don't forget to check out the archive. If you want to buy stuff, it's there. If you want to join our Discord, it's there. Uh, Tuesday, we will be doing a Between the Rolls. Uh, next week's game's not sure. I think Saturday is the princess theme. I'm not <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Not, not sure. I haven't really written it yet. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to see it on the table, let us know uh, either through Twitter, Gmail, through Discord, something like that. We'll get you in there. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, we can finally get the fuck out of Battle Keep. Uh, producer, we're going to wave and wash our hands. Get us the hell out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye Mickey. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you for watching MHI TV. This concludes our broadcast.